Hello everyone. I am here and uh need to fix the camera there. Uh, I shaved, so that's a little bit of a change. Um and yeah, uh plans changed a little bit. We're doing Super Mario RPG instead of Thousand Year Door, because Thousand Year Door won't run on an emulator and uh <clears throat> I don't have a way to capture the physical one, so this is what we're going with for now. But should still be fun. Similar game. So, Andrew might be popping in in a bit, but for the time being, I'm just gonna start it up. Let me know if there's any weirdness with the audio or whatever, because uh, I will not be able to hear it, unfortunately, because I'm uh, I'm using this specific OpenMU emulator, which is not the best. Uh, do we have this set up? Ah. Okay, we're going to need to change that, actually. Um, I have the game controls set a little bit off. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, left? Yes. Uh, left, right, up, down. Good, good, good. Okay. There we go. So, uh, right. I'm going to do... A uh, new game. And we're just going to overwrite that one. I was testing it out because I've never played the game. And I want to make sure that I uh, have an idea of how to play it. And yeah, it's pretty much just more Paper Mario. I'll just add a little call in there. Done. Alright. Ah, here we go. The Epic Adventure. It's not uh, quite as epic as Thousand Year Door was going to be, because it's instead of a 30-hour game, it's only a 20-hour game, but that means I'll be able to slow my pace down a little bit. I only have one game to get through, and I don't have to get through it in quite as long a time. So, it's uh, a lot better in that respect. Overall, I kind of prefer that. Um, as I've said before, I'm not a huge fan of turn-based stuff, but this, this one... Similar to Paper Mario, I will make an exception for because the way that it handles fighting feels like you have at least a little more input, is a little more active. So we will see how this goes. And yep, yeah, here we go. Already, I, I, I do really love the animations and like the models in this. Um, it's real silly. I've seen footage of it like most of my life because people absolutely love this game. And I understand that. Um, I just, you know, I don't hear people saying too much about it other than like, oh, have you seen Gino? It's like, yeah, yeah, I have seen Gino. Whoa. Okay, I'm not allowed to do the uh, action command kind of stuff yet. That's fine. We'll see more of that in a little bit. I apologize if I have a, a bit more mouth noise than usual. I chew a bit a little. I chewed a little bit of gum to hopefully uh, alleviate it a little bit, but for the most part, unfortunately, I I just had dinner because we're doing this later than we have been. So my mouth is a little a little gubbed up. I'll do what I can about it. Hopefully, I'm not totally grossing. Y'all out with my lip smacking sounds. Whoa. Whoa. Bam. Nice. Alright, it is just the tutorial bit, so not too shocked. It is nice not to see my encoding get overloaded constantly. It's mainly because, like, my computer can handle either OBS or an N64 emulator. Not really both. So by switching back to SNES, it's a, just a much, much more amicable thing for my computer to do. I'm excited excited to see how Origami King plays, and I'm excited to eventually get, like, a better computer. 
so that I can do some of the more interesting things. I mean, yeah, I already played this a little bit earlier, as I said, so I already knew the trick here. Just speed through this opening tutorial bit. I, yes, I've been doing this. It also took me the entire fight to notice the little mouths on the bottom of the, uh, the chains. So it's pretty cute. I like it. It's still, it's Mario, but it's also kinda Square Enix and all sorts of things like that. Yeah, I was playing Sticker Star earlier, and man, I consistently forget how just garbage that game is. I, I want to like it so bad, but it's just, it's so dull. There's no real interesting characters. Everybody's kind of mean to you, too. It's an unpleasant situation, because, like, you're just sitting there being berated over shit, that, or over stuff that's not even your fault or your problem. And yeah, I get it, they did that in Super Mario Sunshine, but, like, the gameplay was able to shine above that. No pun intended. So having... Having it, uh... So sour and bitter towards you is real, real frustrating. Nice. I <laughs> like it has the, the eight cardinal direction kind of thing going on. So even though that was supposed to be like a smooth spin, it was just kind of chunk, 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 chunk. This is, I mean, pretty impressive looking for the time. And it has a really appealing kind of like almost claymation look to it. And yeah, there's there's so many clear parallels to Paper Mario, like with the, the opening here of uh, getting stopped in the castle, the stars, obviously, and many, many other things. I'm excited. I can't wait to meet Milo. He's my favorite. Never played the game, but I know Malo's my favorite. He's cute. He's a cute little cloud man. I'm in I'm into that. Let me tell ya. I am into that cloud man. That's 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 what I like. I also considered because I, I did take this into consideration. I considered doing um uh, uh, Luigi, Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, which is the Mario and Luigi game I played the most of. I like those games a lot. In fact, I think I might like them a little more than Paper Mario, if just because they're, um, there's a lot more. Every new enemy, it's like, ooh, how do I dodge them? But yeah, they kind of went a little wild after, after a bit with those. <laughs> was with the silent treatment. Uh, excuse me, he's never spoken. Alright, and then we're just gonna save over the test file. Move right along. Any secrets? I already checked that earlier. I hope there's like a spin dash kind of move that I'll get to do later, because this is a little... A little slow as far as movement goes. Oh, there's Andrew. Let's bring him in. Hello. Hi. I have uh, I have started the opening part, which I played a little bit earlier, um, to make sure I had a grasp on the controls and stuff. So this is this is old hat to me at this point. Mm, mm. I, I have considered doing uh, one of the Mario and Luigi games, but I decided it's, it was a little longer, and honestly, that, I, I don't need to play that again. I can play a new game for me, an old game for you, all that business. Um, I tried Did playing you watch stick the uh, Treehouse today? No, I got the notification for it, but we were out running errands and stuff most of the day. Mm. 
Anything anything cool come up? Oh, it looks... Um, it's gonna... Mm, mm, mm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that sounds like disappointment. People are gonna have very strong opinions on it. Sure. Did I do something wrong here? I thought... I didn't... Or no, right, I gotta go to Vista Hill first. And do the thing. I mean, people have strong opinions about most things, but... Yeah, they've been really, really talking lately. It look... Hmm. Hmm? Because... I've seen enough people comment on it... In the past, before the game was ever... Announced... Mm -hmm. I know people are going to hate it... Mm. Because it's not the Thousand Year Door art style... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's pretty close to the Sticker Star one. Um, no, it's straight up the Color Splash one. Oh, well, and... yeah. I mean, yeah, they clearly are taking more, uh, more inspiration from that, that leg of the series. And people are going to fucking shit all over it. Mm-hmm. Because it's not what I grew up with, crap. Anything not what I want is crap. And like, all right, whatever. Yeah. But I mean, uh, I play. I was playing Sticker Star earlier, um, just because I was like, maybe, maybe I'm in a Paper Mario mood. But I, oh, just from the get go, that game is so dull. They give you so little motivation to do any of the things that they're telling you to do. It's just, um, as Barry Kramer said, it's it's just a lesson in futility, that game. I remember playing the first part of it. Mm -hmm. But if you asked me what that was, I would not be able to tell you. Mm. Like, I retained nothing about that game. Right. Um, I mean, for what it's worth, I don't remember the story to Color Splash either. But I remember gameplay and things like that. Sure. That, and that was fine. Um, could have been better, sure. But the, uh,. Current one is absolutely modeled after the color splash style. Yeah. And people are just gonna hate it. People are gonna be like, eh, it's crap. Why would they? It's so ugly. Why would they even bother doing it? Me, 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 me. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited. I'll say that right now. I'm. I'm super excited for the battle system because I saw uh, there was like the deeper look trailer. <laughs> and the way the like dial like lineup system that's really cool to me that's uh, it just looks practically like a strategy game so it takes the things i don't like about turn-based stuff which is it's mostly just going through menus and it actually it actually makes it a strategic interesting experience so the dial mm -hmm. is <sighs> it is a puzzle that you have to solve. You don't have to, but if you want a power up, you solve it. Right. And if you don't, it makes the battle more difficult. Mm. So, it looks fine. Um, it's just a case of is it going to alienate a handful of fans who are stupid and can't solve a fucking ring puzzle 
and therefore they will whine and complain that it sucks. And if it were more like Thousand Year Door, it wouldn't be this damn hard. And then, and then, bitch, 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 bitch. So. I mean, that's the thing is like, do we care about those fans though? Like, if they're gonna, if they are going to let that ruin their experience, then. I guess they didn't deserve a good experience, or even they didn't even want a good experience if that's enough to ruin it for them. I mean, these are the same people who insisted that Pokemon Sword and Shield would be terrible because the graphics weren't picture perfect on the Switch. Which I say, what were you expecting? The other thing was that they were like, it doesn't have the national decks, it doesn't have all of them. It's like, well, yes. And I understand, like, we were spoiled for far too long with that, but the reality was that at a certain point, they weren't going to be able to do that anymore. There's just too many Pokemon, and especially with something like that, where, like, each Pokemon has multiple, like, unique animations and stuff. It's like, yeah, you can only handle so many, and they still have, like, a good amount of the Pokemon in there. Yeah, and... Um... Again, the story sucked for me, so... Yeah. Does it matter that the graphics weren't pristinely perfect, or that the you know, entire Pokedex wasn't involved? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. Because I'm not going to revisit it anyway. Hey, Andrew. Because there's no story uh, you, to revisit. You know this game. Should I go for POW, HP, or STARS right now? Um... Same as with Paper Mario. It's the same stuff. Uh, oh. Stars are going to do you a lot more uh, help for big hit attacks. Mm -hmm. They're like your um, FP, basically, so you don't have badges. Okay. I mean, so what's I would how? Go with your strength. Like your. Oh, so like out. the attack. Mm, uh, I think I'll, pr I'll go for that. Go HP early on. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I have not played Sword and Shield yet, but, like, I can tell that a lot of those criticisms were pretty unfounded. Because, like, yeah, even if they were right, it's like, that's, is that really such a detriment to the game that you cannot play it anymore? No, it's not. Um, for me, it was just every time the story got close to starting... An adult would come running along like you just worry about your gym train or your like you didn't do gyms necessarily it was some it wasn't the exact same thing we're used to right it was more or less the same but it wasn't the exact same and so you're you do that and you're just like all right fine and every time like the bad like there's no Sylph Co type storyline, uh, you know, where you just take on all the bad guys and you're getting all the story that way. Yeah, which was always was... the like one of the funnest parts of the early Pokemon games yeah. was like where when you went into the whatever Team Magma, Team Rocket like fortress and you had to figure out the puzzle and like that, that those were always the most interesting like. Um, I get dungeon, I guess? It wasn't really yeah. a part that was in the rest of the game. Yeah. And they were always the most interesting part. And going back and playing those is always still... Like, I will play Let's Go Eevee over... Um... Do those have gym battles? Yeah, it's Pokemon Red. It's just Pokemon... Because everything I've seen is it's like watered-down Pokemon Red. It is, but it's Pokemon Red. So what? Okay. Um, so what? What did they change? Basically, all it? they really cut out was wild battles. There are no wild Pokemon battles. Okay. You wanna you wanna jump right before you're facing like. There you go. Yeah, I, that was giving me trouble. It, 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 I thought I was getting it perfect, but I, I was just a fraction too slow. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I gotta say, this game. I like it, you know, it's, it, but it feels like a ROM hack. It doesn't feel like a real game. It's just like, I don't know, seeing a Mario sprites that are this old doing turn-based stuff, it's like, it feels like somebody tried to create Paper Mario 
in with like RPG Maker or something. I mean, I guess, but I grew up with it, so. Fair enough. It's oh. Oh god, the spinies look real wild this time. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they're. I like it when you start getting party members. Yeah, I, I figure it's gonna pick up at that point because right now it's a little just like, just go going through the motions, level up, fight the guys, get to the place. I mean, now is a good time like for level grinding, hmm. but. I mean, I'm uh, just gonna so I'm gonna fight every enemy that's like that I run into, which usually does me good in turn-based stuff. The rare times I play it. Mm. Lack of two. Lack of two, come down here. You can't fight Lack of two. Get your rosy red cheeks down here. You, you can't at, at all? No. Oh. Uh, well. You can't reach him. Yeah, he's tall. So, how many, like, uh, party members are in this game? Because I know Mallow and I know Gino, but that's pretty much it. Bowser and Peach. That's it? Just those four? Mm, yes. Okay. And you'll find, like, certain ones you like better and just not even bother with the others. Mm. Never. Yeah. It's not like in uh, Paper Mario where you've got, uh, they have skills that help you progress. Right. It's just, you know. Yeah, this one, um, according to the internet, only takes 20 hours to beat, so it should be a bit shorter than Paper Mario. Hmm. I guess. Maybe it's, they just suck. Maybe. To be clear, I also did, um, I did, like, go over their estimate when I beat Paper Mario, but I'm pretty sure it was just the two hours of grinding. Mm -hmm. You did still struggle with that, though. Like, if you didn't have all those life shrooms, you'd have been screwed. Yeah, I mean, well... I only died, like, once on the final boss. I only died once. Yeah. That's not that bad. These games are designed to have failure in mind. Huh. Whoa. The hammer bro is really intimidating. He's big. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> He's not alone, either. Oh, no. If you think he's big, you're gonna really, like, hate some of the later bosses. Yeah, I'm just saying, I, I didn't expect a hammer bro to actually look kind of threatening. Like, some about this is, uh, ooh. It doesn't feel good. Oh. Oh, dang. He had a lot of coins. Alright. Have you tried using your uh, other attacks? Yeah, I, I just, I think I'm at a... Oh, I guess I do have the uh, stiff. I pretty much only have jump right now. Mm -hmm. uh, that's item, special, etc. Yell him with jump, this is a... Mini boss situation. Whoop. Nice. Hmm. All right, leveled up. Second time. That's pretty good. Oh. And now I have a fire, fire orb ability, which I'm guessing is just like the fireball. Uh, kinda. Oh, oh, hammer. 
So this was the first game where Mario... Um, well, I guess the first game would have been Donkey Kong, but this is the first, like, mainline one. No. No? Mm-mm. Mario 3, he would have had the Hammer Brothers suit. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess. It, it, it's it has a different feel. <laughs> Alright. The Mushroom Kingdom. Here we go. Um, in fact, when Square Enix brought the game to Nintendo originally, mm -hmm. it wasn't a hammer. No. I forget what the weapon was. But a gun. Square Enix Mario had a, had a full-on Glock. No, but it was something like a sword or a dagger or something like that. Yeah, I don't. I feel like that's not quite cartoony enough. Cause like bop somebody on, on the head with a hammer, it, that's like cartoony, silly mischief. It, cut somebody with a sword, that's like you're getting a little, little TV PG FV for fantasy violence. You know? No. That's what that stood for. You remember the TV ratings? It was like TVG, TVPG, TV14. Um, and then there'd be like the little letters underneath for like S for sex, V for violence, A for alcohol, and all that. But then the TVPG, FV, so for fantasy violence. So it usually wasn't gory, but it was glorifying violence. Okay. Ratings are oh. weird. I mean, yeah. Usually. Oh. I am having a day. Yeah? What's up? Oh, nothing interesting in wrestling news for the most part. Mm hmm. Um. Let's see, let me check. Anything? <sighs> For fuck's sake. I hate when. So there's something Opera does that just irritates the shit out of me, and it's adding extra bookmarks to my bookmark page. It just does it automatically? Yeah, like booking.com and things like that. I don't like that. No, no it's really annoying. The thing is, uh, if, if it's an interesting uh, idea, but if they can. It, the likelihood that it works well enough to actually be useful? Nah, it's... Uh, AJ Styles calls uh, Paul Heyman a liar. Mm. Uh, all, a lot of the news is WWE-based. Mm. Yeah. AEW announced COVID-19 support initiatives. Hmm. Um... So it's two things they're setting up where you can donate for victims of COVID-19. Sure. More on Tessa Blanchard being fired. AEW. Th this seems like a stretch of a story for me, but somebody needed a paycheck, so. Um, AEW is owned by Tony Khan. And... His father owns the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hmm. And Daly's place is attached to the Jacksonville Jaguars Stadium, where they've been, you know, ever since lockdown came out in, uh, of Georgia. Yeah, they did the um, stadium stage. The they did like the they did the, the street fight where they went out to the stadium and everything, so well, they didn't go into the stadium proper. Th that, that's though. true. They only went into the, like the little the uh, not even quite the end zone just just before that. Yeah. Uh the Jaguars and Shahid Khan announced today that TII Bank Field would be expe or expecting no more than 25% capacity for the upcoming season. 
as well as that everyone in attendance would be required to wear masks and adhere to social distancing guidelines. Uh, that means about 16,000 fans would be able to be in attendance. Mm. AEW is currently taping shows at Daly's Place, which is attached to TIAA Field, and we've seen the promotion venture into the stadium for brawls. The promotion is now allowing more people into shows, with non-crew members having been present at the tapings for Fighter Fest, although they were kept in the upper bowl and entirely separate from crew members and staff. The people brought in were said to be invited sponsors of the aforementioned venues who are allowed to bring family and friends. If Khan were to implement the same restrictions on the Daly's place as he has for TII Bank Field, a 25% capacity would mean up to 1,375 fans in attendance. There are, however, other things to consider, such as the likelihood of spoilers getting out if multiple shows are taped in advance like they have been recently, which was done to ensure the safety of wrestlers and staff who have to travel. Of course, nothing has been announced by the promotion yet, and the idea that it could follow in the footsteps as the Jaguars is just speculation. Yeah, it is just speculation, Liam. I highly doubt that they're going to be doing that anytime soon. If for no other reason than because of the uh, spoilers. Like, you can't so, keep that. Yeah. Brief aside, I didn't realize Mallow was a frog. Uh huh. I thought he was a cloud man. Interesting that you would think that. But he looks like a cloud man. Hmm. It's so interesting that you would think that. Hmm. Is it? Is he just saying he's a frog and he's real dumb, so he thinks that that's a good good excuse when he is actually a cloud man? No, Iggy. <laughs> that would be stupid. Listen, it's it's a Ding Dang Square Enix game. They're kind of dumb sometimes. Iggy, have you ever seen a Japanese frog, like, legitimately? Not that I'm aware of. I've seen a lot of frogs. One of them could have been Japanese. I didn't ask. All, like, all the frogs in Japan look like clouds. Hmm... You know. We want to see it. Here, here's some proof. I'm sending you a picture on Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. No. I gotta put onto the. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. That clears it up. So, okay. Um. Uh, return to your story about uh, your your rant. It's not likely they're gonna bring in fans anytime soon. Yeah, it's just not. Like, I, it, Tony is being very careful, and especially now that Renee Young and John Moxley are both testing negative for coronavirus. Hmm. I highly doubt. Tony's gonna risk his talent anymore. They're not making money right now. I doubt he's gonna risk losing even more. Yeah. Um. But yes, you can go to <sighs> They're appealing to fans to donate what they can to Florida's First Coast Relief Fund and feeding Northwest Florida at AEWFightForTheFallen.com. Um, the problem with that website is, every time I go to it, it doesn't work. Um, mm. As part of the effort, AEW has designed a limited edition shirt depicting powerful Fight for the Fallen imagery with a COVID protective mask at the center of the artwork. 100% of the proceeds from the shirt, which is available at shopaew.com, will also go to Florida's first relief fund and feeding Florida. Which, why are these not, why are these URLs not working? Hmm. Oh, I see. <laughs> what happened? Um, I think 
what happened is they wrote down the URLs incorrectly. Oh no. Because uh, when you actually click on, like if you look on the website where the article is listed, it's www.shopaew.com. If you click on it though, it takes you to www.aew fight for the fall. Oh no. Uh, yeah, so. Um. Yeah. Make sure you put in the URL correctly, folks. Yeah. Uh, the hyperlink that, uh. Uh. Wrestle Talk has is uh broken. Oof. Because it's incorrect. That's uh that's bad due diligence, folks. Gotta stay on top um, of that. So you can contribute at Fight for the Fallen. Mm -hmm. Um And the shirt is a Fight for the Fallen beach style shirt this time. Ooh. It's a sort of, sort of beachy logo. And the fist that was part of the artwork last year is kind of sort of holding a mask. It's just kind of hanging off the thumb. I mean, that's the more sanitary way to hold one, I think. Uh, I don't think so. You don't want to. You don't want to touch the surfaces. I mean, yes, but it's not really grasping the mask. It's just sort of hanging off the thumb. Hmm. I am sending you a close-up of the... Sure. But it's a very beachy AEW design. Mm, I see what you mean. Well, it's nice. Um, it's one of those you would buy for the meaning, not for the design. Yeah. Uh, there's the full design. Do they have any, like, Hawaiian-style print shirts? AEW? Yeah. Um, I know there's some official Pokemon ones that are out now that I kind of want to get, but they're, I, I'm pretty sure they're pretty pricey. T-shirts, tanks, and sleeveless, sweatshirts, long sleeves, and more. Whatever a raglan is. Hmm? I don't know what a raglan is. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Uh, neckwear, towels, and flags, lapel pins, bags, drinkwear, stickers and decal, face masks, uh, past event merchandise, headwear, footwear, AEW logo merch, AEW shoes. Uh, the shoes do look pretty awesome, but they're like a hundred bucks each. Uh, oh, it's not shoes. Oh? It's a really weird t-shirt. Oh? I th it was AEW heels. I was like, oh, well, that's, oh, you know, whatever. Oh, right. Have you seen this? It's just a pair of high heel shoes. And then it says heels in, like, really crappy font underneath. Yeah, I don't know if you're signed up for the AEW newsletter, but they've been talking about that in sort of the... Basically as a footnote, but, uh, yeah, the, like, women's division is being called that, or there's gonna be, like, a side thing. I don't think it's gonna be their second show, but, um, it is, like, a, a secondary thing that they're doing. I don't read the newsletter, oddly enough. I do from time to time. It's, like, I think it's headed by Brandy... Brit is a big part of it. A few mm. of the other uh, women talent. Female talent. How did you I feel think. about the tweets today uh, making fun of Brit Baker from Brandy and Big Swell? Oh, I didn't see him. What'd they say? Uh, so you know how she got injured last night? Mm hmm. Uh, and, you know, broke her nose. Quote unquote. It was set up. Yeah. It was set up to get uh, plastic surgery. Oh. And Brandy and uh, Brit or Big Swallow have been make you know giving her 
like shaming her basically for it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm like, come on, we could do better than that. Yeah, like it's it's a touchy subject, but like, I have nothing against plastic surgery as long as n no one is pressuring the person into doing it. Like if it's if it's society or the industry they're in or something pressuring them, then I feel bad, you know. But if they genuinely want to do it, like, all right, like that's it's it's your body. You're taking on the risks and the costs. Yeah, and I'm just like, uh, you could do better. Yeah, like we 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 shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, it's 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 pretty uh pretty low blow. Uh, so one last bit of wrestling news that's actually uh, worth covering because like the headlines really tell you everything today. Mhm. Mm uh, a bunch of people are going to be on talking shop. Sure. A WWE star complains that fans don't have patience. Um, right. Booker T thinks he's got one more match in him. What um, do you think? I don't give a shit about Booker T, so... That's a good answer. Uh, <laughs> a Matt Riddle segment on SmackDown was extremely overproduced. Mm. Uh, oh, Leo Rush... That's one thing about an isometric view, it can be kind of hard to recognize the uh, perspective. So that coin looked like it was a lot lower, but I had to, looking at the uh, looking at the shadow makes that a lot clearer. Uh, Leo Rush teases he's only going to do one more match before retiring. Uh, someone wants to wrestle Keith Lee from the main roster. Uh, Matt Riddle, like, it's nothing worth talking about, except for more details on Tessa Blanchard being fired by Impact. Hmm, okay. So she hadn't wrestled for months due to travel restrictions, but one of the main reasons the promotion fired her was reportedly because she wouldn't send in videos to build for their Ma Magic Slam anniversary, which takes place next Saturday. The original match was to be her against Michael Elgin, Eddie Edwards, Trey, and Ace Austin. However, My Blanchard and Elgin have since been fired, and now it's going to be a four-way with the three others and a mystery opponent, which will probably yeah. be just any one of the WWE wrestlers debuting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think who would be main event level already. And if they... Like, the only name I could look at that list and say, ah, it's him it is rusev and i get the feeling he's more likely going to go to w or to aew right so i'm just like who could it, maybe it's a returning star maybe it's someone uh we've just not been thinking about eric rowan maybe would be a good fit for a uh, main event picture at impact um well so the deep reports now are that she did make a one date price offer to Impact for her to travel and drop the title, but Impact rejected the offer in favor of firing her. I mean... <laughs> Sounds like an easier solution. Uh, apparently, outside of wrestling, the news is getting very interesting. Um... Roger Stone wants doesn't want a uh, pardon. He just wants his sentence commuted because there's worry that if he goes to prison, he might get coronavirus, which tells you everything you need to know about how this country treats prisoners, that the people who were in charge of taking care of prisoners up until now are suddenly like, oh, shit, I'm going to prison. I might die. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, I I made a boo boo. Yeah, now it's not just a matter of, um, just a simple minimum security sentence, few a few months. 
It's like, no, it, even for these minor offenders, it's like, it is a danger. Um, or not, minor see. offenders, I, uh, uh, wrong wording, uh, white collar offenders, I guess. I, I can't think of what the term would be. People who get treated better by the prison system and don't really deserve it. Such as Roger Stone uh, and Manafort. Looks like... Alright, so the headline says... Yeah. yeah. Trump... Uh, signed an executive grant of clemency commuting the unjust sentence of Roger Stone. Gross. Fucking cowards getting free. So, of course. Of course. Uh, Roger Stone is trending with by Goya because yeah. Yeah. The world is a trash fire enough. A friend of mine's father has been diagnosed with COVID-19. Oh no. Wear your fucking masks. Yep. And there's a conspiracy theory that Wayfair is engaging in human trafficking because a set of their shells is just ridiculously priced. Yeah. I mean, if there's any evidence of it, I'd like to see it, but I'm, I'm cautious about any kind of conspiracy theory like that. Well, it's just that the shelf is extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the whole... That's it? That's it. That's everything. That's How all expensive are we talking? Uh, $13,000. That's pretty expensive. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello? Uh, I'll tell you later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. I feel I feel like I've uh, not quite gotten the hang of the timing on these attacks, but it's not as big an issue so far. Uh, you know, I'll just send it to you on Twitter. What made me hello? Uh, sure. Uh, so you can oh. check it out. Sure. Wait, what do I do here? Eh? Um, stuck. Stuck. Hmm. Uh, by the way, the friend in question is uh, out in... Well, I don't know how out sh she is, but um, the friend in question is trans, mm -hmm. and uh, her dad has COVID, and she's like, I don't want to lose the one parent who's proud of me. Yikes. Like, that's that's so sad. I, ho I really hope she does not. Right? So that's the kind of place this country has become um yeah ah here it is so it's a wayfair uh shelf like they're just storage cabinets basically yeah, a set of shelves like naraya storage cabinet uh yuritsa storage cabinet samia storage cabinet olivia storage cabinet uh, fourteen thousand four hundred ninety nine dollars, thirteen thousand seven hundred ninety nine dollars, twelve thousand eight hundred ninety nine dollars, and twelve thousand six hundred ninety nine dollars. Are they made of whalebone? Why? How, how could it possibly be justified that price? Because it's by WFX Utility, of course. Uh, who? Um, your ignorance is showing. Listen. But yeah, because, because of names like Yaritza and Naraya and Olivia, spelled A-Y-L-Y, or A-L-Y-V-I-A, uh, they're like, clearly there's, there's shipping kids. No. It's human trafficking. And no. that's the name of the person you're getting. I'm like... Are you serious? First off, no. I mean, like Second videos. off, you think that you think they wouldn't be a little more subtle than that? 
Like, it, it, that's the thing that I always have with these conspiracy theories is they always, they always are, are so obvious. And when you point that out, they're always just like, yeah, they're rubbing our faces in it. They know they're getting away with it. It's like, no, it's just, it's just not true. <laughs> I mean, if that were the case, then every time I buy a desk at fucking Ikea, I would also get a tiny little child in each box. Because mm. they're all, like... And there's somebody pointing out, they have throw pillows for that much, too. And I'm like, and? Yeah, what? What's the And then buy purses for $700 that they use once and throw away. Like, what's your fucking point? Yeah. If you buy a $13,000 bookshelf, yeah, you're a fucking idiot, but. Yeah, there's no way it's worth that much. Like, even $1,000 for a bookshelf. It better be the highest build quality, best materials, just like the best thing you could get. 14,000? No, I could buy a used car. I could buy like three used cars for that. So you think like if the and the like killer from No Country from Old Men had cakes, they'd have called him Anton Thicker. Hmm. Hmm. It's a little bit of a stretch, but that's that's. I'll give that five points. Five points out of ten. Uh. Oh. The friend in question says, I don't want to clock into my night shift, but if I call out, my supervisor who's about to review my performance is going to have to fill my shift tonight. I love how things work out. Yikes. Uh, work in general is such a dehumanizing thing, but like, once you get into those situations, it becomes clear of like, what a broken system it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see if there's any interesting news. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> like... Oh, there will be two cinematic matches at Extreme... Uh, uh, the horror show at Extreme Rules. Yeah, I'm surprised there aren't more cinematic matches given well, the current how... climate. So they pre-teased uh, one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it got to... They kind of booked themselves into a corner with the other, mm. so they have to be uh, cinematic with this one because oh, it is... you can have the invincibility star in this game. Oh, this is satisfying. Am I getting XP for this, or is this just for fun? Yes. No, nice. you get XP for it. Oh, I leveled up. <laughs> nice. Um, I like that. That's something that should have stuck around for Paper Mario. Oh, I thought it was still going. Whoops. Oh well. The other one, they kind of booked themselves into a corner and probably didn't think things through. But it's the eye for an eye match. Mm -hmm. That will be cinematic with special effects and such. Mm. Coco made a good point because I explained. Um, I explained. Uh, what a cinematic match was and Coco's point was like I if they're gonna do that Coco would prefer that they uh, they just put that energy towards making an actual like movie because no you wouldn't yeah you think you would but you would not I mean the, the thing yeah. is though I feel like within like with the 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 um, momentum they have, like if AEW wants to make movies, they probably could start within like five years. I mean, maybe, but I'll put it this way: Ready to Rumble, mm -hmm. See No Evil, mm -hmm. The Marine. Oh, The Marine. Uh, um. And it gets worse from there. Uh, I'm trying to find the name of the one. Well, there was one, uh, what was it, Knucklehead? Where I think it was like, it was Big Show and he was Big supposed show. to be. Yeah. 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 
Um, that one that one was kind of cute because he was playing like a oh, I'm a little sweet character, but I'm 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 fr freaking Big Show. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's the name of that fucking horrible movie? Uh, it's it's you've heard about it on um Game Grumps actually. Oh. How old? Oh, what? How far back are we going? I don't know, because it always comes up in, um, like, best ofs. Well, I mean, like, how but far back movie... was the movie made? Are we talking, like, a, a 2000s movie? Like, a, within the last decade? Oh, no. It's older than that. Like a classic? It's, like, late 80s, early 90s. Mmm. Santa with muscles. So, no. Um... Uh... Well, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Suburban Commando. No. Mm. I honestly think it's even earlier than that. Um, wow. God, it's the one where uh, Aaron was like, have you ever seen that gif of Hulk Hogan riding a motorcycle down the road and in the background a guy throws a dog into a lake? Are you it's sure that, that wasn't Suburban Commando? Let me Google it. Um, Hulk Hogan. Um, no holds barred. Oh, it doesn't even have like the personality of a Santa with muscles or a or a suburban commando. So, there's a scene where Hulk Hogan beats up a bunch of bad guys, and Yanks uh picks up one of them and is like, "What's that smell?" And the guy, no joke. Just straight up, like, whimpers and goes, Dookie! <laughs> I remember that now. Yeah. Thunderbolt. That movie. That movie. And yeah, if you watch the background, here's a scene of Hulk Hogan just, like, riding a motorcycle down the road, and a dude in the background just chucks a dog into a river. That's why, yeah, because the thing is, like, setting up a shot like that is difficult enough that even if they saw it, they were probably like, we don't, we can't reshoot this. It'll just be an Easter egg. <laughs> what are you oh, no, do? that's from Mr. Nanny. Oh, oh, that seems from Mr. Nanny. Another, woof, man, Hulk Hogan was in some turkeys. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's just, like, rolling down the, mo the road on a motorcycle. And then in the background, a dude just chucks a dog into a, a a river. That's the one where they're like, the it's supposed to be like, oh, tee hee, kid pranks, but like they do brutal stuff. They like electrocute him. They they put like broken glass in his food, and it's supposed to be all cutesy. I mean, it's supposed to be you know Home Alone or Three Ninjas esque. It was. Yeah, I, the, the thing is like there it's is like. There's like a thin line between like actual disturbing violence and cartoon violence, and I feel like they they went way over it. Um, Moxley and his wife are po are testing negative for coronavirus. Oh, good. Um, so she is better now. That is good. Yeah, definitely. Uh oh, uh, Sonya Deville. Wants to challenge for men's titles. Hmm. Okay. On um, WWE, so that's cool, I guess. Like, I have nothing against that. It's just WWE. Yeah. So my ability to trust them. To trust them slash expect any of that to come to fruition. Yeah. I I, I trust them about as far as that guy can throw a dog. <laughs> it was pretty far, dude. He got some some airtime. Not really. I, I mean, he, he swung that dog. That was a yeah, full... That, dog, that was a fat-ass dog, though. That dog went maybe two feet. That's true. I hope that dog was okay, honestly. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that that was just him going overboard with, like, playing with the dog and not, like, a, a attempted murder. I mean, the dog's dead. I mean, yeah, regardless at this point. Yeah. That, oh, the Goombas just jumping out at me now. Yeah, they do that. They're assholes. Yeah, 
They didn't do that before. I know I'm supposed to be chasing this dino, but I'm just taking the time to. Isn't it weird this frog can do like thunder attacks? Right? And he's got like HP rain. I don't know, man. It's weird. It's weird stuff. I like his little like like puff of a mohawk situation. Uh -huh. I feel like if I saw more detailed art, it would probably be like a specific hairstyle, but like. I think tough. it's just a little like tuft. Yeah, I don't think it's a mohawk. I think it's like um, Arn Anderson's little forehead puff. Mm, yeah. Uh, so that was another thing. What do you think of the idea that they may be doing a four horsemen with uh, Cody? The FTR and Sean Spears and Tully Blanchard. Hmm. Tully and Arn Anderson were both in the original Four Horsemen. Yeah. I. Uh, um. Cody and Sean have history as, you know, friends. Um, FTR fits in that good old fashioned. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think. I think yeah, if, if any, um... One over two points out that the legendary ninja Jiraiya is associated with both frogs and, uh, lightning. Wow, you are not sneaking up behind Croco very well. Listen, I'm kind of confused about what I'm supposed to do here. Sneak up behind him and touch his butt. That's it. Yeah, three times. Three times. I think I got him once here. Um, if he sees up. you coming, he will run. So you gotta touch his butt. Uh, I'm gonna go for pow. Go I'm for good with the tap. normal attacks so far, but I'll probably start doing stars in like a, a little, uh... Ah, ah. Yeah, we'll get, just get him. Go for um, that tail hole. No. No. Um, but yeah, if, I mean, if we're gonna do a four horsemen, that sounds like a solid lineup for him. And Cody's been teasing leaving the elite. Cody's been, you know. Oh yeah, and that uh, Hardy would be right there to take up the mantle. Mm-hmm. And I, I think Cody and FTR solid choices. Mm-hmm. Not so much Sean. I don't think he's not a solid choice. I just. Hmm. I don't think he's a bad choice. I don't think he's my first, like, who I would immediately looking at that roster go, oh, well, you know. Right. Who would you replace him with? I don't know, I need to look at the roster. Mm -hmm. Um... Especially considering, like, some of the names that could come in if they don't all go to Impact. Mm -hmm. Like, Moxley could fit, but, you know, with his Smash Mouth style. Right. Um, oh, oh. Hmm. Got him, got him. I think, was that... Odd choice, but uh, Brian Cage could fit in there. Sure. Is there oh, a way for me to walk slower or something? I don't know. This is interesting. Uh, Cash Wheeler is listed as on their roster, as well as Dax Harwood. Oh. So, but I've not seen the FTR are all elite yet. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Am I? I feel like I must be doing something wrong here. Because I got Sneak him. Up I, I did, like, a couple times, so I feel like I must have not done it right. He d did a little dialogue. Uh-huh. Huh? Eh, you just sneak up behind him. All right. I guess I need to do it one more time here. Ah, oh, crap. Like, you gotta remember, he turns back and forth every now and then, so... Right. Whoop, oh, oh, There it is. I got him. Nope. Oh, whoop. Oh, whoop. Oh, oh. There it is. I got him. Nope. Uh, come on. Ah. Uh. Whoa. Oh no. Now he's going faster. Oh wait. Uh. Yeah. Man. Oh. 
Wait, I, 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 I would put in a full, like, it, it would require breaking up a tag team. Mm hmm. The Butcher. Mm, he would be pretty solid. I mean, would they need to break it up to do that, really? Yeah. Mm. It's called the Four Horsemen for a reason. Cody, FTR, Butcher. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that'd be pretty solid. Uh, um, come on. Yeah? Can I get him? You could get away with saying, oh no, it's, you know, Cody, Arn, and uh, oh, God damn it. FTR, but I feel like saying Arn is part of it would be kind of... Stretch. Lazy. Yeah. My le or one over two says my count of four biblical horsemen was five. <laughs> That's how Cody or how Iggy counts apparently. Listen, Whoa. come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, okay. I think yes. I gotta do that one more time. So the one dialogue is him saying that I failed. I guess they didn't really make that clear. Um, but, yeah, I just gotta give him one more time. According to you... Uh, uh, wait, just hang out here. Ah, crap. Goomba! Goomba! Yep, yeah. Conquest? And realized yeah, conquest, conquest was uh hmm. I know with Dark Siders they did something like that. You ever play Dark Siders? I don't like the God of War style, so Okay. Fair enough. Um I I've played a little bit of one. I like the concept, but it's kinda just like a grittier Zelda, basically. Uh, for me, it just feels like God of War, and I don't like playing God of War, so... Yeah. All oh, right, Pollution. Well, in Good Omens, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a full new set of, uh, Four Horsemen to match what we- what our- our current, uh, thing is. Or I think that's just- or was Pollution- ah, it's been so long since I've watched Good Omens. I think Pollution was just a replacement for Pestilence. I mean, plausible. I've not watched Good Omens yet. Oh, it's very good. Um, I, I don't know how I, the book lines up, but I've been meaning to read that. Well, from what I understand, Neil Gaiman was very involved, so... Yeah. I mean, it, <laughs> it, it's a pretty, like, 50-50, like, uh... Uh, to collab. Um, for me, it's just like I watched the first couple episodes and yeah, hmm. it wasn't the kind of humor I like. So, right? Have you have you read any of Terry Pratchett? No. Mm, okay. It's again, it's just not what I dig. I mean, fair enough. Um. Uh, uh, ooh, honey syrup. No, ah, crap. I'm still getting used to the fact that you have to push the same button through the entire menu. It's a little weird. It's not bad, necessarily. It's just odd. Hmm. Hold on. I'm gonna go, uh, take a quick break. I'll be right back. Sure. Um, you know what? I will too, actually. So we will be right back, folks.
All right, back at it. Uh. Um, let me catch up on the chat here. The only big non-adaptation fitted in related change I can think of is the little girl is black instead of ginger, sure. Also, I think they removed the biker gang that followed the four horsemen in the book. Uh, I think they're in that. Like I said, it's been a while. Um, it is a pretty solid adaptation, as far as I can tell. I mean, at least, I, I don't know how well it is adapted and how close it is to the source material, but I do know that it is itself pretty good. So, um, I definitely recommend it. Oh. Uh. Nice. That was a solid, solid move. Should use that a little more. Uh. Yes. Another honey syrup. Then. We're good on health, so I'm just going to hit him with another Thunderbolt. Oh, oh. Weird mushroom. Aw, oh, man. I think that healed him. Alright, let's do it. Nice. 100 damage. The numbers in this are a lot bigger, which makes them a lot more uh, satisfying. Not that I had necessarily any issues with the smaller numbers in Paper Mario, but like being able to see a big number, like a big number like 101 is, is very satisfying. Whoop. Oh, oh. oh, he's out of here. All right. Hmm. Let's go with uh, a little more, a little more pow. A little more pow should do it. Oh, sweet. Got his wallet. Nice. Uh, and then what is this spring? Let me double check that I'm not missing anything. First. Okay, okay. Yes, I wish I could make Mario move a little faster. It's pretty slow. Hmm. Okay. Already level five. This sounds pretty good. I mean, I don't really have a frame of reference as far as this game goes, but that's, you know, I play video games once or twice. Sounds pretty good. Hmm. And then actually, I should probably uh, use that flower tab, because if I remember, that's like a... It's like a, a, an important item in terms of progression. I love Mallow's little stretchy arms. Um, I know Gino's going to pop up later, and he's like the cool one, but like, I like the cute guy. That's, I think he's neat. Uh, flower jar. Ah. And recovers, but raises. Okay. Um. Oh, whoa. Uh, yes. Let's just let's just do it. All of them. Fat wallet. Oh, that's what the pick me. Okay. I actually could have used that earlier. Whoops. Should have paid attention. Oh well. Uh, and let's just save one more time. Since I made those changes. 
and let's continue on back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oops, another one of these guys. I don't, I do not like these frogmen. Whoa. I th it feels kind of random which ones are allowed to attack and which ones aren't. Um, I can't tell I, if there's some kind of logic to that. I can't see it. But, you know, that kind of helps me out most of the time. So I don't mind too much. Uh, oops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it freeze? Nope. Oh, okay. The image froze, but everything's good. Oh, boy. That, uh, that scared me for a minute. Alright. Whoa, what? what? What are these guys here about? They're like the, uh, the little Chinese jumping spirits. And also shy guys. I like that. Shice, ooh, shyster. It's clever. I see what you did there. Drain? No. Ugh, I hate draining moves. They're so annoying. Uh oh. Oh, my light flickered a little bit. The power went out for a brief moment earlier today, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. If it does, I'll just bring the stream right back up, but it's frustrating. It's a little annoying. Do I have something that can... Uh, I mean, that's powerful, but I don't think it can attack all of them. I don't want to waste my time if it can't. Uh, that one definitely does, so let's, let's do that. And, whoop, yeah. Get him with the hammer. No thank you. No thank you. Okay. Yep. Hey. What? She's still pulling this goof on me. Even during this perilous time, she's not going to give me more info or something. Okay. I guess. I'm slouching. I need to not do that. It's bad for my back. Oof. I'm already reclining quite a bit. Which I'm seeing in the camera uh, makes me look like I'm a lot uh, thicker than I really am. So, I mean, eh, whatever. I'm a little pudgy. I can I can admit that. Uh, I do work out quite a bit, so not a lot of fat burning. I've, I've been um, vaguely working on something my brother would do. My brother was into bodybuilding for a while. And he, he would uh, do something called bulk and cut, where you bulk up, and you just, you eat a ton of calories, you get tons of muscle, and then you, you cut by just like, t t lowering your calorie intake really hard, and working on toning to try and burn the fat away. So, for the time being, I'm bulking, then I will look up how to do the the cut side of it someday <laughs> I don't know I just I, w I work out to the best of my knowledge try not to overwork myself and I do protein shakes because why not I doubt it that'll hurt that much I'm definitely working out enough although I did kind of like not like pull my knees but I like I strained my knees a bit earlier today which I, I had to go and get like a matching brace for my knee like the one on my wrist the wrist one is mainly because I, I just use my hands a lot more 
then I end up using the rest of my body. As we all do in this modern day and age. You know, a lot of wrist strain out there. Take care of your wrists, folks. You know, get like a get like a trackball mouse like this, where you just move the ball around with your thumb and you click with your fingers. If your wrist doesn't move, you can't strain it after all. Another thing I've seen is if you don't have a trackball mouse, you can um you can raise the sensitivity of your mouse. Uh, just max it out and then slowly pull it back until it's the absolute highest it can be. Um, like, while you're still able to tolerate it. And move it just like... Move it with just your fingers. You know, you can just kind of scoot it back and forth with your fingers. If you're using your palm at all, that's, that's, that's a bad move. By my understanding, this is not health advice. I'm not a health advisor. Oh, Grandpa! Grandpa! Jeez. I mean, yeah, stuff's gone pretty bad, but yikes. It's a little, a little overreacting, I think. Um... Hmm. I'm back. Hello! I'm just talking about exercise. Yep. I, I um, messed up my knees a little bit today, so taking it easy. How are you enjoying uh, Toad Town on, under occupation? Yeah, uh, I wasn't expecting that coming back, but I like it. Honestly, I'm feeling with this, and it's being um, being a older RPG. Uh, there's a lot more of it that harkens back to like tabletop RPGs like the way that the The turn order works in the battles this kind of storytelling like it, it feels more like a D&D &D adventure Than a lot of modern RPGs tend to It's a lot darker than the Paper Mario series. That's very true Well, uh, it does it does still have that like kind of sense of humor though, which I'm appreciating wait. Oh yeah. Well, um, it just—it's a lot darker and a lot of the story. Yeah. Uh, wait, like hell, they would work on a thing and oh, go to the princess's room. Once you enter the castle, you'll see a room off to the left immediately. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got I got suckered into a fight here, but I'll go right after that. Um. Yeah, that was one thing, playing Sticker Star again, uh, all of the characters in that are so mean. Like, they're just jerks to you the whole time, and they're just annoyed constantly. It's like, man, why would I want, why would I want to play a game where I'm just getting berated by people I'm trying to help? This is not my idea of a good time. That's just Florida. <sighs> There was a story today about a guy from Florida. Yeah. Believe the coronavirus was a hoax. Then he caught coronavirus. Mm. Now he did. Like he posted Facebook statuses. I will not be wearing a mask. I've made it thirty something years in life without one. Uh huh. I don't need one now. And he died. And like fucking wow. wear your goddamn mask, people. Yep. Like. That's not even the first story like that I've specifically heard. Like, um... I've heard, like... Multiple of people who don't believe it's a thing, and then they themselves catch All it and right, die. Now, in the bedroom, yep. You'll see a chair. Chair. Go poke around that chair. Like, search around the chair. Chair. I'm looking. Next to the fireplace. Yeah, I'm looking at the chair. Chair? Hello? Hello? I'm not, nothing's happening. Lights. Am I, am I doing the wrong button here? What's up? Hmm. Hmm. Nothing's happening. I guess. Maybe try just along that wall in general. Okay. Maybe it's over next to the... Huh. Maybe it's under the bed? Uh...
Mm, no, nothing's happening. Let me see. Could it be because it's in this current situation and I would have needed to check it earlier? Oh. Um. Stand next to the chair and then wedge your face in the corner of the fireplace there. Mm hmm. And yeah. press light search there. I'm doing it. The fireplace. The fireplace, yeah. You're looking at torches on my end. Torches? No, they, you're you're behind on that. In the middle of the fireplace. Okay, then you can't get it yet. Okay. Ah, shoot. Do it after you defeat. Oh, oh, oh. oh. It only it can only occur once, so you got to do it before Toadstool joins your party. Mm hmm. If you look at it after she does, uh, you won't get the thing. Sure. Um. So I guess you got to do it after you beat the boss. Oh, it's because there's other people in the room. Ah. Okay. You can't do it when there's other people in the room. Well, shoot, I checked it earlier when I was in here. Uh, I checked the room at least. I didn't see anything around. Do it after you beat uh, the pogo boss. Right. The shyster box. I'm I'm shocked that uh, I that that's the only time I've heard that pun with the shy guys in any of these games. What? Shyster. It's probably because they realized it was slightly a slur. Is it? Mm -hmm. I thought it was just a, a Yiddish word. Continuing onward. Ah! Ah! Er, do I have? Yes. Fire orb. Uh, nice. 69 damage. Ah, uh, oh, shoot. A little early on that one. <sighs> um. Hmm. Uh. Um. So the word was born of all places in New York City. Mm -hmm. Um. by a Manhattan newspaper. It comes from a German word for shit, scheiße. Ah, uh, yes. Um, um, let's see. Yes. Yes. It is a derogatory term. For? Defamatory. But by itself and without more, it is derogatory and defamatory to lawyers, not Jews. Mm. Um, according to law.com. But, um, I, it's still one I wouldn't use because <clears throat> just wouldn't. Especially because of people uh, by the way if you go back to the hallway and go to the door on the opposite side of the princess's room mm -hmm. that goes to the right you well, you might have to wait till after this to do it mm. there's a basement full of treasures oh yeah I did that earlier 
Oh, well, then never mind. Nice. Uh. Man, with all of these random dropped uh, HP max items, this is kind of easy. Yeah. You say that now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't stay easy. Those, those are to get you used to the game. Oh, okay. They they peter out over time. And it gets a lot harder. Mm. I, I look forward to a certain point in the game at which the difficulty just turns hard left into difficult. Oh boy. Matter of fact, there's a point in the game where there's, like, two bosses back to back early on. Mm hmm. And then there's a boss rush at the end. It's just cruel. It's hard. Mm. Mm hmm. Boss fight! Boss fight! Here we go! Oh boy, is a springy man. It's a big ol' springy. Uh, I'm gonna... Well, heck, I'll just use a super jump since I just got it. See how this works. Wow. I would use Thunderbolt if you have it. Yeah. And if you don't, and I would focus all your attacks on Mac, mm -hmm. as Mario. Yeah. And have uh, Mallow just do Thunderbolt. Right. Wait, do you have the one that attacks everybody? Uh, I don't have any that, I don't have any that do oh, that for... Grind that much, then. Yeah, 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 you do. Thunderbolt. Yeah, no, I have Thunderbolt. Um, I just don't have the, uh, I don't have anything like that for Mario. No, no, you don't need it for Mario. You just need to use, like, your mallet on Mac. Hmm. Okay. Because you'll run out of FP if you don't. Right. And then you're fucked. Until you replenish it. Right. Uh, Thunderbolt. I would also consider using cheats. Cheats? Really? Yeah. It's going to get a lot harder. Like, the most recent time I played it, I didn't even finish it. Wow. Yeah. Like, even with cheats, there's a part where, if you're not good at platforming in this isometric uh, layout, right. <clears throat> you're gonna get really fucking pissed. Oof. Yeah, I'm not... Like, if you were struggling with the flowers, you're gonna struggle later. I mean... Listen, I played Sonic 3D Blast, and that was the most infuriating isometric game ever. I mean, that's your fault. Sadism is on you. I'm just letting you know, there's experience. Experience in this particular difficulty. You know, the masochism is your thing, like... Ah, where'd he go? Mac is Why? gone. You, uh, masochists, how you punish yourself, that's up to you. Mm-hmm. It's none of my business. Sure, sure. Oh. I've just learned I've been pronouncing ethereal wrong my whole life. I don't think I've ever said the word out loud, but apparently the way I've been reading it in my head is not what it actually is. Wonder mm. how I'd say ethereal. Ethereal, I would assume. That's ethereal, the, yeah. That's yeah, one of the common ones. It's one thing, if you're bad at pronunciations, learning to voice act uh, will get you good pretty fast. Because if you pronounce something wrong, they'll let you know. Ooh, will they ever. What? Apparently there is an episode of 
Sherlock where a guy, like the big epiphany was the guy in the middle of the field got killed by a boomerang. Yeah, that's pretty infamous because it's like an Encyclopedia Brown level mystery. Like, real obvious to anyone at the third grade level or higher. And they treat it like it's this big moment of like, oh, this is how you know Sherlock's great. That's oh my god, sucks. Donald Trump has tweeted that he loves Goya food. Of course. Even though he probably has never even tried it. He's probably, like, it doesn't matter whether he's tried it. That motherfucker has never once in his fucking life bought his own groceries. He has no clue what brand anything he eats is, except for McDonald's and Oreo. Yep. And Diet Coke. He knows that one. Well, that's, like, the one thing I can agree with him on. The cool, refreshing taste of Diet Coke. Open it's a can okay. today. Open I feel a can like of the thing is, if I couldn't drink full sugar soda anymore, I'd probably just give up soda entirely rather than try and find alternatives. Um, it's not that easy. Hmm. I've tried. I have tried several times to just do just water. Nope, cannot do it. It's mm. impossible. I will always backslide. Coke huh. Zero is piss water, but, you know, to each their own. I'm not yeah. here to kink shame. Um. Well, I, I agree with that. Coke Zero, it still definitely has a diet flavor to it, but it tastes more like Coke than Diet Coke does. I don't drink it because of the sugar. I drink it because Coke tastes like piss. Mm. Coke is fucking disgusting. Hmm. But Diet Coke, no. No. It's a different flavor. Okay. And do not miss me with that Diet Coke with Splenda shit. No. Fuck that. I hate Splenda in general. It's such it's such a ridiculous fad. My grandparents, when they were alive, would buy the Diet Coke with Splenda and insist that it was somehow better. I'm like, it added calories. Ugh. It's disgusting. There's nothing good about it. Um, also, I think, I think I'm going to start smoking uh, weed from a pipe. Oh. Like, yeah, just like, you know, wear my sweater vest and my flat cap. Hmm. Um, ah. I found the thing. Diet Coke tastes completely different from regular Coke. I found the thing, Andrew. <laughs> you're not there yet, so let the... Mm. Well, you're there on you know, the stream, but... The, uh... uh... I just, in general, I don't really drink that much soda to begin with. I'll have, like, one soda every, I don't know, three, four days, maybe once a week. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, like, if I didn't have to drink it, I'd just probably just drink any any other sugary drink out there. I, dr mm. uh, I already drink, oh. like, really sugary coffee, so... The only thing I drink is Diet Coke, Diet Dr. Pepper, water. Mm. I'll have a coffee every now and then if I feel like I need it. Uh, yeah. I, I can't do tea anymore. It's just too much. Hmm. I don't like tea. None? Uh, nah. Huh. I used to. I used to drink a lot of tea as a young man. But I'm just... I can't do tea anymore. It's so sweet. And when it's not sweet, it's just so bitter. Well, it's not that's, that's, bitter. that's bad. Um, that's bad brewing. If you, if you do it correctly, it shouldn't be bitter I don't at all. Give a shit. It's just not for me. Sure. Like, I've had expensive tea at nice places. I've had cheap tea at cheap places. It all tastes like bitter leaf juice. No matter who fucking makes it. No matter what their method is. No matter how... Like, you pour over method. I don't give a shit. It all tastes like bitter leaf tea or sweet leaf tea. Like, there's no in-between. It's always gross. Cricket pie. Huh? He gave me a cricket pie. Yeah, for a frog. Okay. What? Able juice. Yeah. Mm. As opposed to cane juice. It's mm. sugar cane free. Mm. 
If why why is Mario walk. only allowed to wear a shirt and Mallow only allowed to wear pants? Why does Mickey only wear pants and Pooh Bear only wears a shirt? Mm, if they hugged, their clothes would never touch. Have you ever seen the thing that uh, Pooh Bear got his shirt from Mickey and that's why it doesn't fit? <laughs> that's good stuff. He's like, my girlfriend kicked me out in the middle of the night. I'm cold. Like, it's snowing out. And he's like, my girlfriend kicked me out in the middle of the night and I'm cold. Mickey's like, don't worry, fam. I got you. And hands over his shirt. And mm. Pooh Bear goes, my dick cold too. And Mickey goes, bet. <laughs> Ah, uh, shoot. So there's a CBD dispensary here that sells, like, CBD cigarettes. Like, sure. with a filter and everything, so I went and got a pack today. Mm hmm And, boy, are they weird. Yeah? Yeah, it's just really, really weird. Like, are cigarette filters typically really, really soft and squishy? Uh... Or are they I mean, I guess it depends, but... Because these are incredibly soft. Hmm. Like, like, just holding it flattened it. I was like, hmm, I don't think I'll be buying these too often. Right. I don't mind CBD weed, but... I don't think I'll buy the pre-made cigarettes again. I mean, yeah, you can pretty, um... Pretty easily just find, uh... Flour and grind it, I know. Yeah. Uh, shoot, but where where am I going next? They said the sewers, but... You just, leave town. Just leave town? Yes. Okay. You go out the... Mm. Yeah, just fucking leave. Okay. That's where the sewers are. I see, I see. Oh, the sewers are gonna be fun. I'm not helping your ass at all for the sewer. Oh, 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 if you go, um, are you still in town? No. Okay, I was gonna tell you, that house on the far eastern, or far western side of the town, right after the main entrance, mm -hmm. if you go around to the back corner, you'll get a hint and help on what to do next. Hmm, okay. I'm not gonna give you a fucking bit of help with this place. Okay. I want to watch you suffer. Oh no. Oh. I want to help you with everything else. He swims slower than he walks. That's not a good sign. I also hate the shape of the pipes in this game. They're very round. They're not... no, well, like... They don't have the the nipple, the like connector joint on top. Oh, well I figured it was like they are the connector joint and it doesn't have the stem part. You can read it either way, but I don't like it. Mm. Kobe, so, that, that is a cheap cheap. Like... Do not, do not lie to me, game. Uh, in that first room when you just uh, hop down the pipe, mm -hmm. those little notes on the wall are very, very helpful, and you should usually read them. Oh, notes. Hold on. Yeah, there was a note on the wall, a yellow note. Hold on, I'm running back. Meh. I mean, that one doesn't help you for shit, but... I just want to see what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, it's like a full-on post-it note. Mm -hmm. I... You have the bright yellow thing that's impossible to miss. I'm just you saying... I'm just saying... The one that, like, well, it's also, person. at this point... At this point, like... I, I've been conditioned by games to know that that's just gonna be dummy tips of, like, shit you know if you know how to play games. It's like, hey, if you push to left, you go left. It's like, oh, yeah. I mean, no. Hmm. There's a point in the game where if you don't read those, you're not advancing. Hmm. I mean, I could tell you the answer at that point, but why would I help? Yeah, why would you help? I mean, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter at this point in the game, but... Right. There's a point later where you absolutely have to read them. Oh, and it's it's a bitch later. Like, oh, when we get to the sunken treasure ship, I will have to help you because 
You say boo. It's not worth. It's not yeah. worth. Uh, it's not worth the effort. <laughs> Otherwise. Mm. Oh my god! All of the like original characters are kind of terrifying. Uh huh. Like they get worse. <sighs> they like just Wait, actively make me uncomfortable. Wait till you're on the sunken ship and there's one that uh, is literally a mausoleum with a greaser skull on top. Oh. I get. I think the thing that throws me about this game is that with the shading and the way they s made the sprites and everything, it looks uh -huh. more like Donkey Kong Country than Mario. Yeah, it was supposed to. That was oh. what they were going for. Okay. That was one of the, like, I think handful of conditions Nintendo had. Mm. Either that or it was uh, Square saw Donkey Kong was like, we can do that. Sure, why not? What's it's stopping been you? Since I heard the story, but it's something to that effect. Like, either Nintendo came to them and were like, can you do this? Or they're like, yeah, can we use Mario in an RPG? And they're like, yeah. Okay. Which is funny that they went from these 3D sprites to, you know, not this for the next game. Make everyone flat. Yeah. It's such a weird concept. Like, now we just get the, like, oh, Paper Mario is, is a beloved franchise, but, like, back then it's, like, Paper Mario? What? Why? But then you play well, it and you're like, weird. oh... What makes it even weirder is before they changed the name to Paper Mario, they had already made the flat character aesthetic. Like, that was already a really? part of their... Yeah, that was already a thing. So if you look up... Um... Oh, let me see if I can find it. Paper Mario original name. Um... RPG, I guess. Uh, oh. Um. It was like a Japanese magazine release of the thing and hmm. whatnot. And then it was like extremely early on, and then sure. it immediately got changed. Well, I wonder if that was a, uh, was that in response to the leak or whatever? The publicity, whatever? I don't know. I don't know if it was a leak, I guess. So my plans yeah. for the streams, and I already told the, said them to you, but um, to be clear for the stream, uh, we're gonna be doing four hour a day for this, and then I'm gonna go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, take Monday, Tuesday off. Wednesday start probably at like four, so that we don't miss dynamite at eight. Then Thursday should be able to finish this, hopefully. A good channel to look at would be um, Did You Know Gaming, or what I would recommend more is um, Gaming Historian. Mm. Um, it's a very good channel. Um, you can find some like information on it. Uh, ah, Lost Media Wiki. That'll find it. Oh yeah. We go. Um. So yeah. Originally, it was called Mario RPG 2, but it still had the like Paper Mario aesthetics and everything. Um. Hmm. Uh. 
uh, let me share a picture or two to you directly in Discord so you can see. Yeah. But yeah, it was originally called um, Mario RPG 2. Man, this flame wall attack is brutal. And with a super jump. That's it. Seems a little, seems a little low. It was a uh, Nintendo Power issue 104. Reader asks about. A question about sequels to Mario RPG 64 and Donkey Kong hmm. for the 64 and the answer was Super Mario RPG 2 and Super Mario 64 have been announced but there are no release dates yet so hmm. or Mario 64 2 have been announced so uh, yeah it's a real thing um, that's why I was saying yesterday it's perfectly okay to include this game because it was that. Oh yeah, and I mean I can tell like just playing it how much, how deep the influence goes as far as a, uh, um, as far as Paper Mario is like uh, this just feels like playing a downgraded Paper Mario. Graphically downgraded, at least. I wouldn't say downgraded. Um, I would say different um I mean you gotta remember this is Square Enix so or at the time just Square um this is you know the 90s this is the Super NES so for what it is it's actually better than Paper Mario would have been on the Super NES I think um uh, yeah, probably. I would argue that Paper Mario, like the Nintendo-controlled Mario series, hit its stride with Thousand Year Door visually, mm -hmm. as well as story-wise. I would argue that it really got good-looking with Color Splash. Oh, yeah. But that's I mean, going from... It, we weren't able to make it work, but, like, going from the first Paper Mario 2 Thousand Year Door, it's just shocking the, the like, how much more, uh... How, how m much the visuals improved. Like, mm -hmm. it's still clearly the same stuff, but, like, they even, like, redesigned Mario a little bit. They changed the way he moved. Um... Because whereas before in the, the N64 one, it was more like he uh, was just kind of animated. So it was like if you animated Mario on a piece of paper, whereas it's more like uh, flash puppet models in Thousand Year Door, which I think just works a lot better for the, the concept. I feel like they never took advantage of the paper aspect of it in the first game either. Not really. Um, um, yeah, it wasn't until Thousand Year Door it was that just it a flat really. RPG. And you could tell that they, I mean, knowing now that they didn't even have the name Paper Mario until like it was already in development and had been advertised as RPG two. Mm -hmm. They weren't gonna, you know. Yeah, probably not. Um, can I... What's they didn't... going on here? It really feels like... I mean, it's true that the paper name came about because of legal issues. So... Really? Yeah. Square Enix owns the names Paper Mar or Super Mario RPG. Oh, god damn it! I can move your... faster. With Y. God damn it. You didn't have that? No, I tried, like, multiple things and nothing was working. Okay, mm -hmm. that that's definitely gonna help here. Um, I am real confused about where the hell to go now. I fell down something. Now I think I'm stuck. Nope. Wait, wait. Uh, I think this is back at the beginning. Yes, yes, this is the beginning. Well, fine. That's that's fine. 
not succeeded in the way you've been going try going a new way well no it's just i couldn't figure out how to get out of the area i was in because mm. the um the indication that you can swim into another area is not very obvious i mean i told you it was going to be fun watching you struggle with all this so all right shadow yeah, yeah. Hmm. That was interesting. Is that on my end or on your end? What? Uh, my browser's being a bitch. Hmm. It's not. By the way, we should reclaim that and use it not to refer to women but simply people that refuse to wear masks. Mm, yeah. And shitty browsers. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm behind like that. Oh, did you see uh, Tucker Carlson had to fire, like, his top writer? Oh. But, uh, actually, the writer resigned after mm. it came to light that he was posting horribly sexist and, uh, just all around shitty stuff on what uh, a guy working for tucker carlson really he sets us a precedent that somebody went through the like thread of stuff the guy had posted over time and it was stuff like uh just they were like it's amazing how you know much of this just got cleaned up with the swear words removed and uh, put on Tucker Carlson's show. Mm -hmm. um, COVID-19 can spread through the air indoors, scientists say. No fucking shit. Yeah. If only WWE would stop fucking holding indoor shows. Hmm. It's clouds of particles, Almost. guys. It's... Like, That's in fairness... Works. In fairness to WWE, it's not like they have a large outdoor venue on hand the way AEW does. I guess. It's not like they have, you know, uh, and for that, it's I It's not say, like they can't afford to uh, rent one out. Ah, uh, right. Or uh, what I would have done is they built a stadium on top of WWE headquarters keep your shows there and if it's raining pre-record your fucking shows period like, just pre-record them they do not need to be live yeah it was frustrating to me uh, when things were still early the first few weeks people were freaking out at the concept that uh, they wouldn't have a live audience and it's like ooh buddy if they y'all only knew how bad it would be uh, let's see. You know what's always interesting to me is um on on Grumps. It, it's always interesting to me when they're playing a game. Uh, when they're playing a game that they're not especially enjoying, mm -hmm. and they, um, they go back to see how it was received when it came out, both, like, how well it did and, like, how Commentary. much people liked it. Because, like, You're it's... constant shock. Yeah, I mean, there's just such a weird... Like, just by virtue of being a new thing, often a lot of really bad games will get a lot of praise. Like Sonic Heroes? Pretty bad. As far as 3D Sonics go, not the worst by a long shot, but like, 
Man. Like, if people consider that one to be alright, or like, uh, Sonic Adventure, people say that's a good one, and it's like, buddy, did you play it? Lately? Yeah, the only thing, like, the only time they played a game that I really liked, gave up on it, and never touched again, I'm okay with, because it wasn't Danny on the show at the time. So. Uh, which game? Shenmue. Oh, did they play Shenmue? A long time ago before Danny. I don't even remember that. Which is because yeah. I've definitely seen all of that era of Grumps. I only watched that bit because I can't fucking stand before Danny. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you. Like, before Danny, Aaron's co host sucked. Shots fired, pew 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 pew, but fucking sucked. And yeah. I will stand by that. Like, he was never funny. I remember watching, like, I got into Game Grumps through the animated compilations. Um, and one of them was him talking about Aaron and Susie had built a gingerbread house and had spent all this time building this gingerbread house. And they loved their gingerbread house, they were very proud of it, and he thought, how funny would it be if I just, like, walked up and put my fist through it? And he's, like, losing his mind laughing at the concept of destroying this gingerbread house that Aaron and Susie built. And Aaron's just sitting there like, it wouldn't be funny. Like, not even like, oh, it would actually be funny, but I'd be really annoyed. It was just like, that wouldn't be funny. Like, Yeah, that, that was one thing specifically about him is he had weird destructive tendencies. Like, I remember there was an episode that started where, um, there was an episode that started and he was just, he was just like, can I just, excuse me, Thunder? Yeah, he's just like, can I just, like, smash one of your games? And I was like, what? And he's like, I think it'd be funny if I did that. And he was like, I get, uh, what one do I have more of? And he picked, I think, Mr. Driller because he had multiple of it. And this just mm -hmm. cuts to cell phone footage of him doing it, and Aaron kind of facetiously just being like, no, my Mr. Driller. But it's like, man, what a bit. You're really, you're really breaking yeah. the edge of comedy there, chief. Yeah, he was just never funny. Like, I never... I've never laughed at him. And then to find out he was a fucking racist later, I'm like, oh, well. Mm. Says a lot. It says a thing or two for certain. Well, the thing is, too, when they started Grumps, um, Aaron, I'm not going to say necessarily it. thought similarly, but he was a lot more lax with that kind of business. Uh, I mean, well, he he did come up on new ground, so like you could look at some of his old jokes and be like, mm. so while I don't think he was actively racist, I do think he had like tendencies that he didn't realize were hurtful. Oh, certainly. I mean, it was just and, it was privilege. Yeah, f full on. Just and then like, like at a certain point, he was just like, oh, we have to be better. We are not making things good for everybody. And, you know, Danny did the same shit. Like, he had a lot of jokes that crossed lines, like, uh, when they did the Laura Schmidt bit on, I think it was the first Mario Maker. There's a bit where uh, they're making up names for the show this character was on, and one of them was a joke Danny made that was really offensive, and, like, hmm. yeah. And usually it was the kind of humor where he's like, no, no, it's okay because I'm Jewish. That kind of humor. And just like, no, no, it's not because that just emboldens the anti-Semites to make the same jokes mm. and say, no, no, I'm just quoting Danny Sexbang. Like, it's not helpful. Like, those kind of jokes have no place in culture. So, speaking of idiots, tur D uh, Turning Point USA uh put up a graphic that says defund the police, but they've crossed out police and wrote big government, to which 
uh, Brian Genius at Miller Highlight or High Hyfe uh, wrote, uh, "Does Turning Point USA not think the police is part of the government or no? Like literally takes the lion's share of all cities' budgets? What dumb fuck? I just Conservative... what? I don't. Uh, Conservatives think how the government." They... Yeah. They generally poor in line, so that's why they love the police and military, and that money don't count. I don't know what how they think it works, cause like it, 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 just simple, simple stuff like that, where they they're so against the government until the left are against the government, and then they're like, ah, oh, but that part of the government is actually good for these reasons. Oh, you no. know, the part that's the worst and most offensive and authoritarian and, you know, f follows their own set of rules that no one else follows. That, that part of the government, fine. But, you know, the part of the government that says we should help the poor, we should get rid of that. Mm-hmm. If you're being forced to be good to other people, that's tyranny. If you are uh... allowing yourself... To be shit to everybody, that's freedom. Um, I'm just gonna send you a thing. Oh boy. I'm not reading it out. We're not addressing this on the well, this stream. Is, you're addressing it right um, now, so. Huh? This counts as addressing it. I, I We're not gonna that's... read it out or discuss it. We're just gonna go uh together in unison. Oh boy. What do we got? Yikes. Uh, uh, that's it. Let's move on. Oh, yeah. you're fighting So I'm fighting Bloom. Or Bellamy or whatever. It's Bloom. My, my Bellamy has a first name. It's also Bloom. <laughs> I think it's Bellamy. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. I get that. I get the joke. It's Did fun. he hit you with the scrofunk kit? Yeah. That sucked. Mm. This isn't too hard okay, so, so far. Scrofunk sounds like something that you get a pill for. Yeah. Like, Not the sleep oh, Iggy. Sauce. Iggy, uh, turns out you got Scrofunk. No, I was so safe. Well, you, have you been around any hay rides lately? Shit. It's that bergamot That'll poisoning. Huh? It's that bergamot poisoning. Uh, yeah, the, the, uh, what is it? It's the, the, like, mold that, like, poisoned the wheat that they say led to the Salem witch, tri witch trials. Yeah. Or it could have just been, you know... Or no, it's Bergo. Bergamot is, like, what they put in... I don't... Or it could just be misogyny led to it. Well, yes. It's absolutely... I mean, it's absolutely that. But people want to be like, how could these... How could these men in power want to kill these innocent women and people who were non-conforming? Well, they'd have to be poisoned to have their brains yep. do such a strange thing that's never, ever happened in history any time before or since. I mean, you're not wrong. They were poisoned with misogyny. Yeah. Um. Wow. Seventy thousand cases in a single day. New record. Oof. Yep. Uh. Bad wow. news. Florida hospital systems informed me today that their models anticipate now hitting peak of current of the first week of August. Uh, forty percent of hospitalizations aren't in hospital for COVID nineteen. That's not good news. No, it's not. That's not good news. That is fucking horrifying news. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, it's a waterfall. Oh, it's a waterfall. Like, fucking. Whoops. I fell in a hole. It's almost like not giving everybody health care has been the worst 
fucking thing that we've ever, like, come up with. It's almost like arguing that people don't deserve to be healthy is pure... Garbage. Pure and capital, dying. like, poison. I mean, we're eventually gonna just fucking collapse under oh. capitalism. Well, yeah, it's it's happening. This is it. We did it, guys. Second second Great Depression, right on its way. I Hundreds mean, of thousands dead, like homeless. Yeah, like we are, and like fucking Trump's uh sec press secretary the other day tried to say we are a leader when it comes to COVID nineteen. Yeah, a leader in deaths and cases like you fucking numpty isn't cancel culture just the free market speaking uh, that's a yeah. good one yeah it's it's the free market speaking is a good thing until it harms your ideas guy Ah, uh, bad faith arguments. Do 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 do. Debate is fake. It's gamifying yeah. something that shouldn't be gamified. That's human rights. Also, when the debate is whether or not people should die to save a little bit of money or not, uh, there's no debate. People should not die to save a little bit of money. Yeah, that like, was there all. was there was a pretty succinct meme that was just like I don't. I don't lose friends over politics. These are examples of politics. I don't think we should uh, change that that uh, highway overpass over there. Sign it. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about these changes to the library. These are not politics. Black people are people who deserve to live. Trans people are people who deserve to live. You can't debate people's lives. That's it. Yeah. Like... Well, debatable politics. Should we install a roundabout or a stop sign at that intersection? Non-debatable politics. Should we take care of people or not? Fucking not debatable. Nope. Take care of your citizens, you goddamn fuckwits. That's your only job. And if you're not doing that, then you're failing. If thousands are dying from curable, preventable diseases because you think that uh, the money for your, for the companies that pay you is more important than you're a terrible leader and you should not have been in the position you're in. So, have you seen, um, the thing about Pikachu and how Game Freak was originally going to have to change it in the United States and they were like, no, we're not doing that? Yes, I did see that, uh... Do you know who broke that? Who? Uh, that went up in a video just a couple days ago from Did You Know Gaming, and now it's fucking everywhere. Wow. I just... I don't know why they went from, um... I, I, I don't know why... Why they would suggest that. It was supposed to be, they're like, it's not going to appeal to kids, so let's put some sex appeal in it. Oh, wow, someone just um, put, somebody just Twitter put like a full novel communist. in the chat here. Twitter account The Communist argues in favor of uh, JK Rowling, which fucking really. Damn, uh, Salmon Haddock Eel, that's, that's a cruel, cruel thing you did. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, I do not condone that story. Uh, what, what were you saying, though? Sorry, I was catching up on the chat. Uh, a communist Twitter account's like pro JK Rowling, and you don't have a song to do there yet. <sighs> Just. How can someone go from being uh, a huge idol in the public eye to being kind of a weirdo but still considered okay to being a massive pariah by their own hand so quickly? 
I mean, I can read the story to Salmon Head. I'm just uh, bouncing around between browsers. Um, no, that's cruel. Not funny. Um, yeah. That's what pushes people away from gaming and keeps the uh, community small. Hmm. Like, somebody could have enjoyed a game and had something they looked back on fondly and you ruined it for them. Dick move. I don't see any humor in that. Yeah. I'll be right back. Uh. I don't get what this part. What is this? What is this business with this pond? Like, I know how to. I know how music works. <laughs> I don't. What am I supposed to do here? Do I do a thing? What's happening? What am I doing? Yeah, I probably have some stuff to do here. Uh, flower jar, yes. There we go. Uh, like, do I even need to be here? Yeah, I'm gonna gonna get rid of this guy here. If you go back to the first room of the Toad Village, you'll see a stone off to one side. Jump on that mm. and then hop across to Malo's grandfather. I wait from here. No, T Toad Town. Yeah. No, uh, the the froggy place with all the frogs and tadpoles. Tadpoles. I think I'm there. Here. Oh, this this stone. I got gotcha. you. Okay, I found it. Ah, oh. oh, tadpoles. So many. Yeah, I was confused. I talked to the guy about composing stuff, and that's kind of useless to me. I I know how music works well enough. Should I, is there like an audio thing going on right now? I can't. Oh. God damn it. People keep asking me to jump. And I if I miss it, I, there's no way to know that's what they were asking. I think that's the only time. I mean, uh, there's also, there's like the other characters like, oh, you're standing in something. And then you got to hit jump instead yeah, of like. I think that's the last time though. Okay, good. Because it's. In response to the person who's like, oh, how could I have known that he. Fifteen years later, you you know now not to fucking tell the story. It's not fucking funny. Yeah, I banned that guy. He's out. Oh, I see that, but I'm just like, you know now that's not fucking funny. Mm -hmm. But you still feel like, oh, this is an appropriate story to tell. No, it's not. I don't tell the stories of when I was young and stupid. I say I was young and wrong. I don't laugh about it now. And so, it's not an excuse. Hmm. Yeah, I I really hate the reasoning that like, oh, you're too sensitive. It's like, no, fuck off. <laughs> I have human oh. empathy. Wow, that's so unreasonable. I was so young when I did it. Yeah, but you're bragging and laughing about it now. You're an adult now. Yeah. You know better now. That's the fucking difference. Wait. I don't look back on shit that I thought was funny when I was 12, but I know now it's problematic and go, no, it's great, you get it? Well, I'm, I don't do that now. No. Not appropriate. I also didn't do shit like that. Cause, uh, partially because I was the only one who was actually serious about games as a kid, which mostly well, got I'm me... Talking, like, in general, like, not just in gaming. So... Like, um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to think of a single instance I could talk about where I was very much wrong and, you know, thought I was funny at the time. 
Oh, I can think of tons, but honestly, it was the kind of stuff that was considered socially acceptable at the time. Like, I feel like people gloss over how only about like a decade, decade and a half ago, everybody was real offensive. Like, the biggest comedians were people like Russell Peters, who was just racist. All of his comedy is just racist humor, but because he's an Indian man, uh, it was considered less offensive than if a white guy was making the same super racist jokes. Yeah. Yeah, I remember a lot of jokes like that. Um, hell, we were looking at a restaurant near here. I'm not going to say what their kids' section of the menu was called. What, uh... You don't have to say but, the name of it, but what kind of restaurant was it? A Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Uh. I will. I'm just gonna send you a screenshot of I'll what see. their fucking kids menu is called, because you will go. There's no way in hell that's exact. Actually, what it's called. You will. You will call me a liar until you see it. I mean, honestly, it's it's hard to tell. Like, life is so ridiculous now. Okay, so... Are you ready for this? Uh, as ready as I'll ever be. Hold on, hold on, I'm jumping on tadpoles. Alright. What do we got? Oh, no! No! Yeah. Yeah. Yikes. It is 2020, and that is still their fucking kids' menu. I, yikes. Um, okay, wait, what do I do now? I did all the tadpole stuff. Also, look at that kids' menu. Beanie Weenies is one of the dishes. Oh, yeah, because they assume that uh, kids can't handle food with flavor. Although, I'll be, like, I'll be honest, uh, earlier I made enchiladas with just, like, canned enchilada sauce. And last time I had it, we had to have the verde, which I prefer, but we had it because last time when I used the standard red sauce, Clark found it too spicy. Um, I will say this. The name of the restaurant is Bean Town. There is actually, looking at that menu, there is not a single Mexican dish in that entire kid's menu. <laughs> I mean, they also sell pizza. It's also, the no drink uh, in all caps is kind of depressing. Like they have, for their appetizers, wings, wings, mozzarella sticks, chips, salsa, uh, chicken basket. Doesn't say what that is, just chicken basket. Nacho. I, probably chicken strips, chicken. if I had to well, guess. No because, no, because immediately following that is chicken tenders. Then nachos, cheese fries, cheeseburger sliders, fried pickles, lobster skins, um, which I believe are called shells, um, mini corn bites, uh, pot stickers, potato skins, pretzel bites, a quesadilla, cheese, sub shrimp, uh, queso dip, shrimp cocktail, and egg rolls. They have what? This, it, they have like everything. Why? <laughs> That's just their appetizers. They also have pizzas and calzones, sandwiches, burgers, pasta delights, chicken temptations, uh, seafood. Temptations? Oh man, that must be good chicken. Huh? Temp oh, yeah. Chicken temptations, like that this must be good. Okay, so I guess it's not actually a Mexican restaurant, but with a name like Bean Town. I was gonna say, yeah, it's like. There's always a big thing on, like, Kitchen Nightmares or whatever. Like, one of the most oh, obvious lost. death sentences for a restaurant is has a billion different food uh, varieties. And it's like, why don't you just do one well rather than a bunch mediocre? Uh, it's uh, a Boston-themed restaurant. Ah. Uh, so. Bean Town, okay. Bean Town Tavern in North Carolina. If you want to find out what the offensive kids menu is called, you can Google that your own damn self. Or you can is... you can probably gather from the name Bean Town and the fact that Andrew thought it was a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> like, Yikes. 
not one Latinx person on that whole board sitting around like, what should we call our kids menu? <sighs> like, that's... What was the uh, story? God, there was one recently where... It wasn't the Cards Against Humanity story. It was something else where... Like, it was a doll or something that made it all the way to production. It was super fucking offensive. And nobody mm. thought, oh, this is inappropriate at any point along the way. I don't know if I heard that. If I did, I've forgotten about it. It was within, like, a year. Um, but then again, lockdown has been the longest 14 fucking years of my life. <sighs> Seriously. It's just... We're only in the middle of the year... Remember when everybody was like, hey, it'll probably be over in a couple months. Mm. Oh, it was the Feel Better doll. That's better? what it was. Um, God, it was this doll that you were supposed to... Whenever things don't go well and you want to hit the wall and yell, here's a little Feel Better doll that, will, that you just will not do without. Just grab it firmly by the legs and find a wall to slam the doll. And as you uh, whack, you feel... Or the feel good doll. Do not forget to yell. I feel good. I feel so. It was a doll that you were supposed to abuse so that you feel better. Yikes! And it looked a lot like a gollywog doll. Also, yikes. Uh, I mean, it's a bad idea to begin with because, according to every study, um, all you do when you let out your anger like that is you associate it with good feelings, which means that you want to be angry more. I sent you a picture of the doll. Oh, boy. As one over two says, oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, okay. It, it's not as bad as I thought from your description, but it's still not good. Do you know what a gollywog doll is? Yes. I mean, I watched a lot of those old Betty Boop cartoons and... So wow. look at them side by side. Look at them side by side and then say it's not that bad. It's... I mean... It's pretty bad. But they... Mm, <laughs> it's like if they made an anime version of that other doll, basically. Yeah. yeah. Which I think... Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. Again, no point along the line. Did somebody go? Oh, we shouldn't see. We shouldn't make this a person or an animal. I think it, that. I don't know. I I don't even want to play devil's advocate on this. I guess what don't. they should have gone with was an unnatural color, like purple or green or something, so or that it doesn't it look, look like monster. Make it a little monster instead, like clearly not a real creature, not well, a that's person. Any not an animal, nothing. Like make it look like a vil like a, a a monster from a cartoon, like the clearly a villain, like with you know. Oh yeah, like, as one over two points out, Mr. Popo. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Not quite the lips, but may as well. Yeah. I just it, the, the thing is though, if they consulted one psychiatrist, they probably would have told them like, this isn't a good idea. No, it's not. Like, but I guarantee you, it was one mommy vlog that started it. Like, I made this for my son so that he could get out his aggression in a productive manner that didn't hurt anyone. And everyone should try it with their kids. It, it screams white mom. Like, all it white, does, that stuff, all it does for kids is it it makes them waste, waste their energy so that they can, they don't have to, um... It just tires them out, so that the parent doesn't have to deal with them. It doesn't fix anything. Yeah. I mean... What is with period. this shy guy? Am I... Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this Snapdragon. Ugh. <laughs> it whips you. No, stop. You like those big DSLs it's got? Yeah, uh, ugh. No. You kissed you with a pollen nap. It's weird because, like, yeah, piranha plants have DSLs, but that, like, kind of fits the design. Whereas this thing, it's like... This has, like, lipstick and everything. It's like they just slapped a pair of wax lips on a flower. Uh-huh. He's got himself some DSLs, baby. Real talk. 
Like luscious DSLs. Who the hell came up with wax lips and then decided that's a good replacement for candy at Halloween? Who the fuck did that with corn candy corn? Yeah, at candy least candy corn, corn is food. Technically, no, it's, not. it's it's no, the it's lowest not. form of food. It's just a clump of sugar and wax, but it is very it is food insofar as like anything is food if you're hungry enough. Uh, it is true. food if you're starving or have piranha plant doesn't really look like piranha, it has, not like... the original piranha plant, but as we pointed out previously on this stream, they got some thick DSLs now. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I just, I remember there was like a movie or something where like they a kid didn't want to go trick-or-treating because he was scared and they convinced him because they're like, he, they have wax lips, your favorite. And it's like, what? What kid even likes wax lips, let alone that's their favorite? What does that mean? What What is your favorite plastic vampire fangs? <laughs> what is this? Yeah. Uh, to prove that they have the DSLs, I'm sharing a, a link. Oh, please do. Uh, uh oh, is this where I came in? Man, this one, the sewers did not confuse me that much, but like, I'm, I'm a little lost in the Rose Way. And in Paper Mario, the, the, they're far more lippy. Especially that one, like, boss you fought. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, like, they do an attack where they straight up kiss you. And then if you look at, like, Petey Piranha, those are straight up lips. Mm-hmm. Um, Although his are thinner, if I remember correctly. Uh, they are a significant portion of his head size. They are inhuman lips, but, like, they're still clearly meant to be coded as lips. I mean, like, yeah, they are, they're lips. In fact, um, in Paper Mario, one of the attacks they do is a straight-up kiss where they suck your, like, uh, HP out. That was a bad time for you to stumble where they suck your, uh, um, oh no. They suck your, uh, what's the right word? Um, don't say dick. Don't say, uh, health. Hell. Oh god, I don't like Miss Mouse with legs. No. Mm. No, don't. No. No. Uh, I just noticed we have uh, four viewers right now. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Uh, this is the first part of this particular game. We just finished up Paper Mario, so if you're interested in watching that, the N64 one specifically, Go check it out in the past broadcasts, or uh, there's a link to the YouTube archive of the past streams below the stream on the browser version. And we will be playing this through till Origami King comes out, and then I'll be playing that for a while. Probably at a slower pace than I am right now, but trying to get through this before the new game comes out. And if you haven't, please take the time to follow, because I would greatly appreciate it. It definitely helps the channel. I would say this about uh, candy corn and candles. Eating a candle is at least better because then you could floss afterwards. Mm. But, uh, God, I cannot stand candy corn. It's Did I? I corn every year. I, it's just like that Lewis Black joke where every year I'm like, maybe this year will be the year that I like candy corn. The... And I taste it and I'm like, God damn it. It's pretty. It, they're bad. I. I kind of have, um, I do sometimes crave the, like, candy pumpkin that sometimes gets lumped in with that. No. Cannot sign off. Speaking, of speaking of eating candles, uh, I don't think I've told you this story, but when we first moved down here, um, we moved down in, like, December of, like, 2016, so when we, the first of Clark's birthdays that we were here for. <laughs> he had one of those, the the candle that's just the number and it's like kind of thick, almost like a, a little soap, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and as a joke, I was just like, all right, Clark, now to make sure that you actually turn three, you got to eat your candle. <laughs> he did. Well, no, to, to go in on it, because he was like, no, I was like, sure, you just do it. I just, <laughs> I 
took a big old bite of it, thinking like, it's probably not gonna be that bad, I can do this for a joke. It, it just powderized into little shrapnel of wax bits. It was so bad. And like, I couldn't wash it out because as I put the water in my mouth, it melted it a little bit and just clumped. Ugh. So, the thing about wax candles, especially those cheaply made ones, mm -hmm. they're not a solid lump of wax. They're mostly like wax, but they're little wax beads pressed in a form. And yeah, that's, that's the exactly, outside. they immediately separated into that. <laughs> yeah, and their outside is just like, they're pressed into shape, but that doesn't look good. That looks like styrofoam. So they just dip it in a thin layer of outer wax so that it looks solid. Mm. A lot of candles are like that. And you can find that out by breaking open uh, similar cheap candles. Uh, they That's why they um, melt funny is they're just melting individual beads. And then part of it will be denser from having burned previously than the rest of it because mm. all of it will have melted and then solidified as one piece. Mm. Yeah, it's really, really weird. Uh, but it's a cheap way to just make candles that you don't plan on using too often. You can mm. also see it with cheap tea light candles. Oftentimes will be done that way. Mm. Yeah, we have one of those like aroma wax cube melters mm -hmm. uh, that uses tea candles and I've, I've certainly noticed that. Uh, we just... have one that looks, it uses an old Edison style bulb and looks like the top of a lighthouse, like the, the part that the bulb itself sits in hmm. of a lighthouse. Uh, so Great. we don't have, so that's nice. I like using that. I used it to, uh, um, <laughs> I just realized I shouldn't tell that story on stream. Oh no. I used it to, uh, Melt wax? Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it at that. Um, yeah. To back it up uh, a bit, uh, 1 over 2 says, I'm so annoyed I can't buy candy corn off-season easily. I mean, I'd say just Google it. You can probably find a recipe oh, yeah. if you're that desperate uh, for it. Uh, give me a second. And then also, uh, always test run your jokes. There's no test running that one, man. There was one candle. It, it was a, a ride or die moment, and I, I went can for buy it. A seven and a half ounce bag of candy corn right now from Jelly Belly on Amazon for Ooh. seven seventy two. You know what I got earlier? Because I needed to get this. Um, I need to get like a knee brace, similar to the one I have on my hand. Uh, for my for my knees, obviously. Uh, but in the fitness area at Walmart in all the like little energy cube snack whatever bit i found jelly belly branded energy beans so it's like a dollar no. it's a little pouch of of jelly no. bellies and no. they have 50 milligrams of caffeine apparently just take a fucking viverin for fuck's sake a what if it's too much break it in half what is a viverint it's a caffeine pill ah uh... I don't know. I, bu I, bu I mean, they were a dollar, so I bought them. I'm going to try them out. I doubt they'll be that great. I usually I just drink coffee before I work out. I worked at Family Dollar. Mm -hmm. And uh, decided, you know what? We have these disgusting little patches. Like, like a stop smoking patch, but an energy version. And so I bought like three packs of them. And found, uh, went over to my friend who was the Iggy of my time there and was like, let's try these. So we just slapped them on to like two or three at a time to see if they worked. Mm -hmm. And no, they don't. Oh. Uh, <laughs> cooking is for people who didn't accidentally set a paper towel on fire once, according to one over two. Um, Listen, we've all. If See, you don't you're... set a few things on fire learning to cook, then you're doing it wrong. Uh, I never set anything on fire while learning to cook. I've set one or two things. I accidentally yeah. overheated oil one time. It was pretty bad. That's what? why we have a fire extinguisher now, because Cory went out and immediately bought one after that incident. Question. Electric stove or gas? Uh, electric. It's one of those flat top glass deals. And you still started a fire? Well, I just, I was... You suck! No, 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 no. It was oil, and it was just 
I, I did not realize how hot the pan was when I put it in, and it immediately caught. Like, it just hit the flashpoint. Um, something, stepping back to caffeine for a second, on a BTE a little while ago, Kenny Omega was doing a bit about how, like, about how, like, oh, I don't eat, I don't eat potato chips after a match, and I'll, I'll do a little cool down, and I'll go to thing. But he mentions in that, he's like, I don't go out in the ring in, until I have, it, at minimum, a thousand milligrams of caffeine in my body. Wh how, how much truth is there in that? <laughs> or is that fully just a joke? Let me check how much caffeine is in a Viverin. Mmm. Because he and said he was just like, that's how I got these veins popping, and it's like, yeah, that's probably part of it. But. So, one Viverin, which is enough, yeah. is 200 milligrams? Yeah, I um, feel like, I, th I think it was a, an exaggeration. <laughs> let's see, in a cup of coffee, 95 milligrams? Mm-hmm. In a can of Red Bull, uh, uh, 111. So a Viverin is double a Red Bull, basically. Yeah, which I mean, I see a lot of people downing two of those anyways, so probably a better way than getting yourself all bloated. Yeah, and it doesn't taste like Inca Cola. Um, I just, uh, it tastes like battery acid. It tastes like somebody j took some battery acid and thought for a second. If I water this down with a little club soda and some sugar, hmm, maybe. No. No. When I was working for Family Dollar, we were on vacation one year, and they had a soda in the town we were in called Big Red. Oh, no. Big Blue. I was like, oh, this sounds pretty cool. Did you notice Mario just whacked the shit out of Mallow? Yeah, that was kind of violent. <laughs> He's like... Fucking get over here! Bitch, I did not tell you you could move. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, it's it was called Big Red and Big Blue, so we got both because I was curious. I'd heard about them. Mm -hmm. They're were, I'm pretty sure they're RC brand. Uh, maybe. But I was like, I had heard it was a regional thing in Texas, but we were in South Carolina. I'm like, I have got to try this. First of all, Big Red... And Big Blue tastes exactly the same. There I've always, no I've only difference. tried Big Blue, and to me, it just kind of tastes like when you get that fakey bubblegum flavor. Yeah, it tastes like Red Bull. Yeah. It's the same flavor as Red Bull and Inca Cola. Apparently, and every time Corey's mom comes down, he'll go and buy her some Big Red because I guess she likes it a lot. Oh, oh, Tanya, <laughs> I gotta have some words with you next time I see you. Oh, uh, this is where shit hits fan. Like, mm. this is a turning point in the game. Like, it, there's still, like, a couple of easy levels after this. Right. But, where, like, this is one of the darker levels. Um, there's a guy out in the woods just shooting random arrows into the air. Oh, that's what that is? Yeah, and it paralyzes whoever it hits. That's... And, yes... You can absolutely get hit by one of the arrows. If you leave the item shop, by the way, hmm. and you go up the side there, you can jump up those boxes into the chimney and get uh, stuff that's on those upper shelves. Neat. You can go down the chimney like a pipe. Sure. Um, just going to see what they got here first. Uh, after I do that, I'm going to take another quick break. Um, Alrighty. Wake up in... Ooh, true form. True form. Yeah. Oh, apparently you I already have one of those. Well, you want to equip it to at least your strongest puncher. Sure. Or your strongest uh, general attacker. That, that'd that be Mario. Usually he's the only member of the party you can't get rid of. Uh-huh. Mario wear thick shirt. The thickest. And we'll just... Mm -hmm. I mean, I just... I have two now, so I might as well put them on board. Knock-knock well, knock shell? What's that? How's this work? It's a new weapon. Oh. You, it's a turtle shell. You knock it at them. Like, you, if you time it right, you kick it into the air and then just bash them in the face with it with a nice, solid kick. 
Mm. Um. Okay. Did you ever, like, go on a dating app mm -hmm. and just be like, oh, God, around here, I'm fucking hitting, you know, I, when we were in Seattle, I checked out, like, some of the apps there, like, to see what the people locally look like. I'm like, wow, everyone here is gorgeous. And I was like, I am a, like, three out of ten here. And then I got back home and uh, looked again. And I was like, I am a ten here. <laughs> I, God, yeah, like, there was someone, oh, I can't remember who it was, but someone had the running theory that, um. Oh, you gotta go to the hotel, by the way. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no, 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 no. No, 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 don't go to the hotel. Stop whatever you're doing. Shit, I already was in it as you said that. Damn. Oh, well. You'll just have to wait then. Okay. Um, but uh, it, someone had the theory that, like, the further west you go, the more attractive people get. Because of the Hollywood stardom thing? I mean, e even if it's north, like uh, Seattle and stuff, I don't know. Well, the theory I originally saw was... Uh, everybody out west is gorgeous because all the hot people move to the west coast to try and get into Hollywood. Mm. And they just started migrating out from there. And that's why everyone out west is attractive and everybody out east is hideous. Um, and, like, there's some, like, I can see it, but, I mean, I think that's just confirmation bias. Uh, when asked if you want to play with them, just go ahead with it. Um, play with them. Yeah. Um, and then when you can leave and go to the northwest corner of the screen, and you'll see a guy trying to climb a cliff. Mm. Help him out, and do not uh, steal anything from his house yet. Okay. Help him first. And steal it in front of him. It's more satisfying that way. Hmm. Not only because. I mean, like, you don't get punished for it either way. It's just, well, now I feel ugly, ha ha ha, says one over two. I mean, that's the thing. It's more confirmation bias than anything. Yeah. Um, like, again, I'm not my type. So when I look on dating apps around here and see guys that look like me, I'm just like, uh, no. Um, it's just not my thing, yo. I am not interested, my friend. I think I burned oh, my, my tongue God. earlier. <laughs> I'm not going to finish that sentence, but if I wanted to dick myself, I'd just put a mirror over the bed. That was, oh, this might have been the same guy who was just, they were talking about, like, oh, were you into boobs or ass more he's like uh i'm definitely not an ass man it's like what really why not at all and it's like yeah i mean i i got a butt i can look at that if i want to look at one and they're like the size of the girl's butt it's like i think so oh this is juno's deal he's actually yeah. a toy well no no you'll see hmm I'm kind of a toy but this is not a pinocchio thing Hmm. This is more of a, um, body snatchers thing, actually. Oh, no. oh he's steppy. Alright, once I get out of this cutscene business, I'm gonna, uh, okay. Am I, am I out? Am I out? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... Go, I'd go help that guy and steal his shit, then take your break. Uh, okay, well, I'll save here for now, and then I will go do that. There'll be a short little cutscene downstairs. That'll mm -hmm. be about it. You never believe it. amazing Gino. He's named Gino because, uh, he's, he, he, uh, human genome stuff. Oh. Clever. Let's see, who am I helping? This little yeah, guy? Yeah, I just made that shit up. Don't act like that was deep. <laughs> I'm sad that you bought that. I feel bad for deceiving you. I don't know, this sounds real enough to me. That sounds like, like something 
That sounds like something that'd be an anime, so probably something that'd be in a Square Enix game as well. Okay, so I'm up here. Now what do I do? Uh, go in the house, and yes. you'll find a switch upstairs. Uh -huh. Jump on the switch. Gotcha. But don't, don't open the treasure chests. Don't. Not just yet. Do it in front of him. I did it. It's their way. They sure were. What's the worst movie you still love? Oh, probably Stealing Harvard. It's just, it's a bland studio comedy, but I watched it to death in high school. Uh, I would now go in and steal his shit. Oh, I'm doing it. In front of him. Yeah. I didn't even notice. He gave me a little secret, though. Left, left, straight, right. Yeah. Okay. That's It's a maze. Mm -hmm. that it's one of those mazes that's coded. Sure. And so, first do that, and then try and leave so that you reset the maze, and follow Gino. Whenever you can. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Before that, I'm going to take a uh, quick quick break. One last break, and then we will... I'll stay on. I'll stay on, because I gotta make fun of Ted Cruz. Sure. <laughs> uh, starts with James Woods saying, Boy of Foods, the uh, world apologized in the face of the boycott backlash for pro-Trump remarks. It's suppression of speech. Then Ted Cruz says, Goya is a staple of Cuban food. My grandparents ate Co uh, Goya black beans twice a day for nearly 90 years. And now the left is trying to cancel Hispanic culture and silence free speech. Hashtag buy Goya. So I said, if my family ate the same canned beans or can canned food every day for 90 years, I would have intervened. I also would have chronicled this as what are the odds both of your grandparents had the same bizarre food effect or affectation for years before they even met. I mean, um, wait, it's not canceling, uh, Hispanic culture, first of all. Like, yeah, it's a staple because it's quick and easy, but canceling Hispanic culture would be, you know, locking people in cages when they try to seek asylum. Or, um, you know, not giving them health care. Or, you know, all the other shit we do in this country. But not buying a particular brand of beans. No, that's not canceling a culture. That's not supporting a culture or a company that doesn't support that culture. Because that's what that is. Like, fuck off. You ain't never hear nobody talk shit about Chef Boyardee because they keep their fucking mouth shut. Chef knows that they aren't them fucking nice. They know better than to talk shit. Talk shit, get hit. That's what it gets. Whether that hit is to the face or the wallet. Talk shit, get hit. Um, is there any interesting wrestling news right now? They're just reviewing SmackDown. Uh, Monday night is a night of grudge matches on Raw. Championship match announced for next week's SmackDown. Wait, really? No, 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 no. Are you shitting me? Uh, no. There's a top streamer there. Uh... This looks like it's poorly worded. What is? I have returned, by the way. Championship match announced for next week's SmackDown. But then it says the match is for Extreme Rules. Oh, the Go Home Edition of SmackDown. Really? Re that should be an Extreme Rules match. Yeah. That should be on Extreme Rules. AJ Styles versus Matt Riddle for the United States Championship should be on a pay-per-view. Like, how fucking stupid do you have to be? I mean, 
I mean... We found a dog! Huh? Where was he? Up. Oh. Yeah. Alright, I'm in the forest maze. So I gotta go left. Uh, uh, left oh, wait, no, no, straight. I'm not in... I guess I gotta go in the stump no, first. You're not in the maze. No, you're not in the maze yet. The yeah. maze will be made up of uh, square rooms with four exits. Mm. And when it says left, left, straight, right, good, uh, figure that out for yourself. It, it's fucking complicated. Well, is it relative to your position or relative to the camera's position? I can never fucking remember. So I always try to do it like two or three times before I find it. You'll know you did it right if uh, you find a tree stump in the middle of a clearing instead of another identical room. Hmm, okay. Attack up? Alright. You know what song I think is the white boy anthem? Hmm. Y uh, vindicated? Vindicated? It's like, yeah, I am vindicated, I am selfish, I am wrong, I am right, I swear I'm right, swear I knew it all along. Wait, when you think back on it, like... <sighs> I don't I'm think I'm familiar with this song. You don't know Vindicated? Oh god, it... Someone in the comments who knows better. I swear it was... Dashboard Confessional. Mm. So... It starts off... Like, it's the most... White boy... Attempt at... Uh, poetry? Ever? Mm. So I'm gonna read the lyrics to you as they are written. Okay. I will not make comments. We will treat this song with the serious gravitas it deserves. Hope dangles on a string like slow spinning redemption, winding in and winding out. The shine of it has caught my eye and roped me in. So mesmerizing. So hypnotizing. I am captivated. I am vindicated. I am selfish. I am wrong. I am right. I swear I'm right. Swear I knew it all along. And I am flawed. But I am cleaning up so well. And I am seeing in me now the things you swore you saw yourself. So clear, like the diamond in your ring. Cut to mirror your intention. Oversized and overwhelmed, the shine of which has caught my eye and rendered me so isolated so motivated i am certain now that i am vindicated i am selfish i am wrong i am right i swear i'm right I swear i knew it all along i am flawed but i am cleaning up so well i am seeing in me now the things you swore you saw yourself so turn up the corners of your lips part them and feel my fingertips uh, trace them all. i don't like trace, any of that trace the moment fall forever defense is paper thin just one touch and I'd be in too deep now to ever swim against the current. So let me slip away. So let me slip away. So let me slip away. So let me slip against the current. So let me slip away. Vindicated. I am selfish. I am wrong. I am right. I swear I'm right. I swear I knew it all along. I am flawed, but I am cleaning up so well. I am seeing in me now the things you swore you saw yourself. Slight hope. It dangles on a string. Like slow spinning redemption. Wow. Yeah, middle school not... was not a great time to uh, write your song lyrics, guys. Huh? It's not great to look back at your middle school journal to get your song lyrics. <laughs> Does that not just read white boy anthem like? Oh, absolutely. The... That's so the... that's so much the the emo <laughs> white boy of just like I'm so full of death and destruction it's like dude you live in like a suburb in like chicago you're fine <laughs> relax and i don't mean like if you are white and a boy that applies to you i'm talking like the guy that you've went to school with who was a shitty dude and then messages you like 10 years later on facebook like i had a kid and now i understand why i was wrong like no that guy then mm -hmm. oh I mean, 
it makes some money, but I mean, so does at what a cost? So, like so do assassins. Like that's not a <laughs> like. I get what you're saying, but <sighs> that's the bad news on my opinions on money in general. Like, not a fan. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Man, you just fried your rats. All they did was wiggle their tail at you. The Listen. furry community is going to be pissed. Listen, they understand. I mean, also, I like Donkey Kong being in this game chained up. I like was gonna game. say, yeah, that looks like not so much Donkey, but uh, like Cranky Kong in his younger no, years. This straight up looks like Donkey Kong without the tie. They like snatched him up, put him in chains for gimp gear. It looks like they lobotomized him too, because there is something around his head. Mm. That's where they lobotomized him and put it back. They're like, yeah, we're stealing your aesthetic. We're stealing your uh, your sprite style. What are you gonna do about it? Go cry? Go cry? We're stealing your style. Oh, excuse me. Oh, maybe gonna cry? They don't, did we stole their art style? Hmm? I don't think. I think. I don't. I don't. Th I don't think they mind. I don't think the particular rare, problem. You don't think Rare would have been incredibly angry that they stole, like, the oh. thing they worked so hard on? Uh, I don't All right. know. I think this is where the maze will begin. Nearly. I keep also, expecting I it to, but I'm not getting the multiple options. You're in the middle of a fight with a bee and Donkey Kong right now? Yeah. What is... Uh, the donkey gorilla. Okay. Yeah. Got a gorilla for sale. I'm gonna get a gorilla for sale. For sale. Gorilla. Okay, here we go. Is he a gorilla of destiny, you think? Hmm. Ah, shit. Uh, Tucker Carlson's now former top writer. Maintained a years long thread in which he derided a woman and posted information about her dating life that invited other users to mock her and invade her privacy. That's oh. disgusting. And that's why he's been fired. Hmm. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't get promoted knowing that show. Hey. I mean, he was the top writer. Where do you get promoted from there? Host? Host. Uh, I mean, shit, he'll probably get an offer from somebody being like, hey, we're down with that. Here's what she had to say in response. The woman that got doxxed and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2015, Neff started a thread on auto-admit, mocking a woman with whom he was friends on Facebook, and whom he described as an... I don't know if that's an, a slur or not, so I'm not going to say it. Oh, no. Uh, sharing posts she had written about her dating life. He had continued to post the thread and mock the woman whom CNN Business is not identifying as recently as late last month. In his first post, starting the years-long thread, he explained that through circumstances he couldn't recall, he became friend or Facebook friends with the woman and thought her posts about dating were amusing. So I thought I'd post them, he wrote. I won't put up a pic, but it's probably relevant to say she's I'm not going to describe it. Um, God. So, wait, left. Off. I see, I huh? see, hold on. There's like eight stumps here. Left? Left how? Oh, no, no, you're not in the maze yet. I'm still not in the maze? No, the maze will be a square room with four exits. Son of a each. bitch. Why, how many fucking preambles do you need to your goddamn maze? Which one You're do I... in the forest. <sighs> Did you just want to walk into the forest and be like, ah, immediately I'm where I need to be? I'm just you saying. You didn't want to put in some effort? You'll know you're in the maze when you first see Gino running off. And Milo will make a comment like, we should follow him. 
Mm. That's in the maze. Sure. Uh, but it says a lot that I'm not re willing to read out loud the first thing he wrote about this woman. Uh, yeah. the other way. When you leave this battle with the Wiggler, go back towards the one you just jumped out of. And you'll see a little path out that way. Yeah, I, I saw it. I just, uh... It was a little too late by the time I realized it was there. Uh, through the years, the thread generated nearly a thousand comments, many of which used vulgar, racist, sexist, and dehumanizing language to mock the woman. Neff also said he did not want other pa posters to harass her, but did not stop them from identifying her and posting links to her account. He also posted photos from her account that did not show her face, and continued posting about her dating life for years after the other posters had identified her. Reached for comment, the woman said, When I was recently made aware of his post about me on racist websites, I was overcome with disappointment, which eventually mixed with bewilderment that he spent years dedicated to creating a fair, false narrative based on my satirical writing about, his, about my life. The nature of online media is that your identi identity, while no nominally under your control, is vulnerable to being misused. Any public figure can attest to this problem. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, considering, like, some of the Twitter uh, lists I get put on, mm. and I have, like, routine... Like, by the way, if you're on Twitter, check what lists you're on. And to do that, if you're on desktop, just look over under Home, Explore, Notifications, Messages, Bookmark, Lists, and uh, up in the corner you'll see the dots, the three little dots. Mm -hmm. Click list you're on, and you'll see which ones you're on. Uh, for fun, I and keep in mind you don't put yourself on these lists. These are what other people add you to. I am on top pastors that mm. one person because legally speaking, I am a pastor. A cracked writer put me on a list called kind people and oh, nice. funny people and funny people. Oh hell so yeah! So that's nice. Um, is it late enough, Iggy, that I can do the, the content that I was telling you earlier? Oh, sure. Um, yeah, this is definitely in bed by now, so. Irish strip clubs must be weird as fuck, right? Like, some girl just river dancing past you, upper body not moving at all, legs going nuts. Just like, you like what you see, Seamus? Like, that fucking cannot imagine something better. Other than a British strip club. Because that's got to be fucking insane too, right? That's got to be just fucking nuts, right? Like, Oi, Guff, you won't see me funny! Why do they start... Why do they start these fights out with, like, five rats if, like, three of them are going to run away? I mean, it's a randomized thing whether they do or don't. I guess. It seems like an odd loadout. But it's like, oi, God, you want to see me funny? Oi, DJ, play something erotic. I'm trying to be sexy over here. Like, I cannot imagine. Like, what's going to play in a British strip club? Like, alas, my love, you do me wrong to cast me off discourteously. Like, what is playing in a British strip club? I can't. I don't accept it. I can imagine a German one. I can imagine a French one. I can damn sure imagine one in Amsterdam. Mm. I cannot imagine, like, the only country in the British Isles area that would have a decent strip club is Scotland. And that's a hell of a strip club, I guarantee. No one else. Everyone else, you're not allowed, because I cannot keep a straight face in a British strip club. That No, I, I would not be able to keep a straight face. I would be laughing every step of the way. Fucking dying. That would be the greatest fucking day of my life, because I would get kicked out, and I'll be able to tell somebody why I got kicked out of a British strip club. Why? For laughing so hard. Like, no, I can't. I I can't. <sighs> Shit. I was hoping to use a thunderbolt here, but. Shit. Please, somebody tell me that. England and Ireland do not have strip clubs that they're against the law for some reason. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't live knowing that they exist. 
Just like, imagine some stuffy British dude in a fucking strip club like, no, no, no lap dance for me. I'm British. Like, fucking... I can't. It's not possible. It's not. You, you can't do it. It's... <sighs> hmm... I'm losing it imagining I'm, I'm fucking losing my mind just imagining like And now coming to the stage Trixie like no I can't It doesn't Wow I don't know what like four year old they got to write the eight there but that was that was some sloppy penmanship. The eight? Yeah, you'll see it in a second. I just oh. got to level eight. <laughs> what the fuck? Who drew that? I mean, it was square, so it's entirely plausible that it was not a person who dealt with English numbers often. We, but they still write numbers the same way. Sometimes. Uh... I don't know if Arabic num numerals are a thing, like, as big a thing in Japan as they are here. They are. I watch enough anime to know that, yeah, they, they just use the same numbers we do. Um... Well, I mean, that could be an aesthetic thing. No, just like, in stores and everything, it's the, the common thing they do. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of kanji and hiragana numbers, so... Hmm... <laughs> Well, you got to keep in mind that a lot of Japanese business was um, influenced. influenced. By West, yeah. yeah, so. My point is, yeah, little will call me, little will call me, probably. Huh? Uh, because isn't that a thing? Like, why uh, it's so much easier to do math is. Not the numbers themselves, but, like, the words for numbers outside of America make more sense. Like, mm -hmm. um... Ich ni san shi go roku shi chi hachiku ju ju ich ju ni ju san ju shi. Like, it's just mm, 10 number, and then 20 number, and... Well, all that yeah, shit. but, I mean, for ours, it's like 50. Teen, teen is just another, is probably just like an old English pronunciation of ten, so it's five ten, and then it's just twenty five. Eleven, Eleven. twelve, thirteen. Well, yeah, it's, it's all like old English bullshit. I'm certain. Four. You, you start. It's, Steve Byrne had a, se a series of jokes about that, like, uh, because he's, I don't remember. I think he's half Korean. And he was saying, he's half Korean, half Irish. And he's like, when he learned numbers in, as a kid in Korean, it was like really easy because it was 10 and then the number. And then in uh, English, he was like, well, how does it work in English? He's like, oh, it's number teen. He's like, okay, one teen. Mm, no, two teen. Eh, three teen? Close. Thirteen. Uh, 14. Yeah, I know you got it. Okay, okay. 15. Eh. Like, it's not until you get to, like, 16 and up. Like, half of the 10s are actually number teen, like we're taught. It's mostly... It's the same bullshit. as, like, the days of the week. It's all just antiquated bullshit. Yeah, but we don't tell kids it's number teen. Like, our numbers don't make sense until the 20s. Nope. And even then. Alright, here's the maze. Yes. So you want to go left, left, right, straight. Yeah. Well, no, it was left, left, straight, right. Was it? It was. Are you sure? I'm positive. I've been thinking about this whole goddamn time because I've been, each screen I go to, I'm ready to fucking start doing it. Oh, I'm ready to do it. Also, because uh, it's straight, that means it's a lot easier to do. Because well, that means wow. that it definitely... 
Well, it, d it definitely has to be relative to me because straight is a relative direction. Uh, breaking news. The G Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints tells its members to wear co face coverings in public and churches to slow the spread of COVID-19. Good. A little late, but good. I mean, yeah. Isn't that the, uh, uh people that... Oh, uh, what are they called? Um... Oh, what are they fucking called? They're not the Mormons, they're the other group. Hmm. Fucking goddamn it, I have to Google it. Okay. There's a word for what they are, um... Occultists is what I usually go with. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna make that comment. Um, oh, I consider all organized religion a cult. Just because it's big doesn't mean it's any more valid. Oh, they're the Mormons. Yeah, so yeah. the Mormons. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I could have said that. I just didn't know if you were thinking of something else. Yeah, they were the Mormon church. No, now I they're considered the church of... The church of... Uh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yes, off to turn to LDS. Although that's yeah. like them trying to move away from their bad reputation as... Mormons, you know, with the whole, like, torturing the gays and such. I've got them confused with somebody else. Mm. Uh, the ones that think like the Watchtower. Uh, oh, that's Jehovah's Witness. That's it. Which is also, yeah, similarly quite culty. Um, friend of mine was raised Jehovah's Witness. Actually, a few friends of mine were raised Jehovah's Witness. And, boy! Uh, one left the church and came out as trans and, and didn't really uh, want to go back because it was not a welcoming environment for her. And uh, Oh yeah, and another... the shunning in that community, they, they, they oh, really yeah. emphasize the shunning. Oh yes, they are a cruel, cruel group to cross, um, yep. just in general. Um, See, sometimes I go on fat life, like, oh, you know, it's what it is, you know. And then I see, like, a picture of somebody, and they're holding a cup of coffee. I'm like, the coffee is not the focus of this photo. <laughs> Don't put coffee as the descriptor. Mm -hmm. We all know what the focus here is. <laughs> that coffee cup is not what anybody, like, if I hadn't read the caption coffee i wouldn't have known there was a coffee cup in this photo let's be Shit. real yeah listen oh, it's an advertising platform all right and if you got something to advertise then i'm willing to see that ad i mean sex sells is a often claimed thing mm -hmm. but turns out Ads that use sexuality as a major uh, thing, mm -hmm. like, as a major promoter, don't actually um, work. Like studies have shown that using sex in ads or sexuality or attractive, overly attractive people doesn't actually lead to increased sales. Huh. Weird. So like sexy shampoo commercials where women are like borderline orgasming over how good the shampoo smells while they're washing their well, hair. Honestly, yeah, I feel like more than anything, humor sells because the fucking ads that people remember and talk about are the ones that are, um, are the ones that are funny. Well, or obnoxious. That too. And if you don't believe me, but that's I'm a just that say is a negative that. memory, so it's unlikely that uh. No, it actually... I'm going to just say one sentence and t then ruin your day by telling you it sold really well despite the ad. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. What? Oh, god damn it, my fucking controller. If nobody... Mormon was always a nickname, according to 1 over 2. I mean, um, I suppose. I Oh, shit, I opened Steam. Ah, damn it.
Hold on. You pressed the power button on the controller, didn't you? No, it just or it the, uh, shuts down button. or times out or something every now and then. Um, every time I press the home button on a fucking uh, PS4 controller, if I'm on um, a Mac, until I figured out the like arcane settings for this, it would open Steam every time. And it did it on my desktop too. And that's when I got fucking fed up with it and looked up the settings because it, I mean, and it's a setting that you would think it would be under controller. It would be under settings. It's so arcane. I couldn't even like begin to tell you how to get back to it. Other than I was fucking livid by the time I figured it out. I mean, no, I, was... I just accidentally clicked the icon while I was uh, moving over to reconnect my controller. Yeah. Uh, if you have your PS4 controller though hooked up to your computer and you have Steam though, the default setting on Steam is to open if you press the home button. Hmm. <laughs> Even if you're using it in a different app. Weird. Yeah. It's infuriating. Uh, Gail Simone has a Twitter thread. You guys, we got a note that we had a package coming that we had no idea what it is. And it was to be signed for. We missed it yesterday. Son and hubby took turns waiting for it. It's huge. Have no idea what it is. You guys want to open it with me? We do not recognize the return address. First, it's big. It barely fit in the back of our SUV. One second. Uh, the, my controller just died. So hold on. I got to go grab another one. While we use a wired controller. Here's some scale. It takes up a huge chunk of this king-sized bed. Jesus Christ, it's massive. Um, cutting across the middle, not showing my side or my hands because I have been gardening. So she's cutting the tape open. Lots of packaging stuff. Oh my God, a lot of packaging. It's something framed. I'm not kidding. We have no idea what this is. Oh my God. Uh, unwrapping the plastic, just remove the foam. So there's like egg crate foam wrapped around a frame that is as big as a king sized bed. They have no idea what it is. To which she tweets, like she gets the foam off, no photos, just says, oh my god, in all caps. Okay, hang on a second, guys, there must be a mistake. Gail, you cannot leave us hanging. You have got- whatever it is, you have to share. You have brought us on this journey. Fuck. You have to share. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I fucking trying to set anything to an analog stick in Open Emu just goes down like five options and erases all of them. Yeah, oh, I hate it. It's frustrating, but whatever. I, 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 fuck, did I fuck it up? Have you, have you ever watched Happy? Uh, yeah, I've seen the first few episodes. I've been meaning to watch more. Oh, uh, I'm just remembering oh, there like happy for no obvious reason, and mm -hmm. like season two, woof, season two of Happy was rough. Yeah, season two of Happy was extremely rough to watch. Ooh, like not in a bad way, but just like. I uh, no, ow, ew, gross kind of way, like... Oh, sure. Oh, that that show, like, is not for the weak stomach. I'll put it that way. Ugh. And did you ever watch Once Upon a Time? Once Upon a... just the, the show? Yeah, um... No, it, I, I just had... it just feels like a fanfic. So I don't have a ton of interest in it. Um, I'm trying to find, uh, do you know who Patrick Fischler is? No. Uh, let me see, what was he in that you might know? You know what, I'll just list his IMDb. Uh, Defending Jacob, 
the standoff at Sparrow Creek, bedtime story, under the Silver Lake, time oh, under the Silver dies. Lake. I know that one. He was Comic Man. Uh oh yeah okay. Or did you see Twin Peaks? Oh totally. Duncan Todd. Fuck, that's a small character. Uh, Kingdom, Doubt, Scorpion, Code Black, Rosewood, Her Last Will, Suits, Fresh Off the Boats, Hail Caesar. He was in Hail Caesar as a communist writer. <laughs> oh, okay. that movie uh, is pretty pretty all right. It's definitely not one yeah. of the one of the Coen brothers' best, but uh, it was. They, they, I don't feel like they were out to make a big production like they normally do. They just wanted to do an old Hollywood-style studio system movie. It just, I think it feels, um, it feels a lot more like a Tarantino movie than it does uh, Coen Brothers. Um, God, I'm trying to see Southland. Mm. Lost. I didn't watch Lost. Pushing Daisies? Oh god, that's a character name. He was the Waffle Nazi. Oh boy. Uh, Mad Men? I saw the first season. Uh, he played a character named Jimmy Barrett? I don't remember. Um... Uh... He played a lot of bit parts early on, so... Hmm. Um, not, not a lot of... When a date with Tad Hamilton, he was like a, a waiter. Hmm. Um, you know, I'll just send you a picture of the guy. Sure. But, uh, he plays a character called Smoothie in uh, Happy and Boy! Will he make your skin crawl? Um, just... Oh, boy. Ooh. And like, it's unfortunate because he... I will never be able to separate that character from that. So, like, I'll see this actor and just be like, yep, Smoothie. That's Smoothie again. Like, I'll never be able to separate the, the character from... Yeah. Like, it's one of those where he played the part too well. And, oh. Like, every time I see Smoothie, I'm just like... Ugh. Um... So, I'm just seeing if there's anything interesting in SmackDown to talk about right now on the, on the recap. Mm -hmm. um, Matt Hardy says he wants to show addicts there is hope. Uh, they want to face Shame or Miz and Morrison want to face Sheamus in a bar fight. Uh, mm -hmm. Hardy Man, says this would be the fucking spot to grind, Jesus. Where are you at? The just this forest? forest in general, yeah. There's like five enemies on each screen. Yeah. If you can't see Gino, just assume you go straight. Yeah. And if you feel what? like the boss, take a left turn until you see him. Or like a right turn, I mean. Until you see him. Yeah. There you go. Um. I'm gonna tell you now, if you're giving me that granular of directions, I'll be way past whatever you're saying. The leg yeah, but, but is... I'm just saying. Yeah. No, no, no. Like in general, if you lose him, go take a right turn usually, mm -hmm. and you've got a better chance of seeing whichever direction he's heading, and he'll lead you to the boss battle, which is one of the most annoying boss battles in the game, mm. because he will shoot arrows and paralyze different buttons on your controller. Oh, fuck! I mean, that's a interesting concept but that doesn't sound like it's fun to play it's not especially if you've run out of FP and you can't use your A button mm. um the Miz fought Matt or Jeff Hardy um like nothing interesting is happening Mm -hmm. Um, Braun versus Bray Wyatt at Money in the Bank. Braun's right. oh, oh, there he is. Uh, 
There's a karaoke showdown. Uh-huh. Uh, God, like... The New Day put the titles on the line. Fuck. Ah, uh, no, I was in the spot I need to be in, and I, goddamn, I fucked it all up. Uh, da 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 Wait, nothing, like, God. Wow, like, five things happened on the whole show. This wow. was a two-hour show. I'm going to describe the headlines that break down everything that happened. Miz TV opens the show. Miz versus Hardy. Smackdown Women Do Battle. Replay of Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt for Money in the Bank. Karaoke Showdown. Uh, aftermath of the Showdown. And then a title match for the tag team titles. Wow. Wow. I will not be shocked if this is their lowest rated fucking episode. Oh my god. Yeah. Update on the girl Simone thing. She seriously might faint. She doesn't. She got a weird package in the mail, Iggy, that's so big it barely fit in their SUV. <laughs> wow. Um, it's the size of a king size bed, but it's flat. A lot of packaging, egg crate foam around a picture frame of some kind. Um, and she has no idea what's in it. None of them ordered it. Um, so she's like, there must be a mistake. She's not sharing what it is. So she's either building tension or trolling us. Mm -hmm. And knowing Gail Simone, the answer is yes. Like, oh wow, the animations for this guy are super smooth. Oh yeah. Like, Square put a lot of effort into this game. Like, they did not half-ass it. At all. Um. God, what's his name again? Hmm. I can never remember his name. Who? I can never remember the names of any of the enemies, except for three. Oh, the arrow that guy? Is... Yeah. Uh, Bowyer? Bowyer, that's right. I thought it was Bowser for a minute, I was like, this, this isn't a great twist, guys, but, uh, no, it's just one letter off. So I can remember Smithy. I don't want to spoil the name of this one, but it's... The name of a boss you'll fight after a lava level. Mm. Um, like a lava, you'll be in a volcano. Right. And then you'll fight a, you'll fight a boss after, an, like, I will, I will warn you when we get there, but I mean, that's a couple days from now. Sure. Uh, so, let's see. I remember them. I remember, uh... Johnny, Smithy, them, Johnny, Gino Beam. and who's the other one? Booster. Mm. Uh, I guess you don't really fight Booster. You fight it. Well, I don't want to spoil that either. How much do you know about the game other than Gino? Uh, Gino and Malo. What I have found out through this. Okay, do not do any research. I okay. really want you to be surprised by some of what happens. Because it is... very weird. But yeah, Smackdown, I will not be shocked if we find out had the lowest ratings ever tomorrow. Because there were... Let me check again, because I'm pretty sure it was like four matches. Um, Fuck. There goes the A button. I count all the matches. And I'm not counting the Braun Strowman Bray Wyatt one because that's a replay. We don't we do not allow reruns of matches. This is wrestling, goddammit. Um yeah. let's see. Miz versus Hardy. SmackDown women. Uh let's see. Did this lead to an actual fight? Um, yeah, so, another SmackDown women's match, and a title match for the New Day versus, uh, 
Big E and Cesaro uh, and Nakamura. Mm. Wow. Four matches on a two-hour card. And Yikes. technically five, but one of them was a fucking rerun from a pay-per-view. Yeah, no, that does not count. <laughs> no. Um, and one only came about... Now, keep in mind, on the same show, they had uh, a, a talk show segment with Miz and Hardy, and then a karaoke battle. Ugh. What was the one? There was like a fucking show like years back, where at one point they were like they were like it was like two like fucking legends. I'm pretty sure Stone Cold was one of them fighting with lightsabers on like tricycles, like just like toy lightsabers. Okay. All right, I'm gonna Google it because I have no idea what you're talking about. It was some nonsense bullshit. Uh, uh, Stone Cold, Chuck, Steve Austin, Tricycle. Seven beaters in Stone Cold, Steve Austin's garage, 17, or 15 FedEx by Stone Cold. Stone Cold has life all figured out. Uh, I'm not seeing anything about Stone Cold on a fucking show no, with look a lightsaber. Up the, uh, look up the lightsaber on its own, maybe. I don't know. I swear this happened. It might not Acting have specifically been Stone Cold, but it was like someone of that status. So here are all the shows that Stone Cold has been on. Mm -hmm. VIP as himself. Celebrity Deathmatch, Nash Bridges, Dilbert. Oh no, I'm not talking like Bird. a TV show. I'm saying like it was a match. Uh, I have got to say it was probably not Stone Cold. I don't know that. I remember him. Got. <sighs> I'll Google Stone Cold on with a lightsaber. Get that in your search history. Images. Um, the only thing coming up for Stone Cold with a lightsaber is uh, Booker T beating Darth Golddust. Darth <laughs> Golddust. Uh, that's good shit. And then there's a really good uh, thing where somebody has photoshopped Dean Ambrose holding a lightsaber while hitting Bray Wyatt with what was actually a kendo stick. Mm. Oh god, you could buy a Stone Cold Steve Austin mask. Like a full head mask. Uh. It is too glossy. Yeah, it's um, not. I'm a discomfort. Like, skin is glossy, but not in the same way latex is, so it always looks. Ew. Um, Gail Simone still has not explained what the fuck was in the box, so now I'm feeling like goddamn Brad Pitt. Like, what's in the box? Just fucking tell us, Gail. You cannot tell leave us. us hanging like this, Gail. I'm sure Gail Simone is watching this stream as she does that, like, I'll ratchet Andrew's anxiety up a little bit higher before I reveal. God, I hope it's either something completely, like, she did not order and it's something just completely batshit crazy, or she's just winding us up. Because, like, I don't want it to be a, her winding us up. I want it to be batshit crazy. I want the batshit crazy. I don't want it to be a gift from a, like, colleague that's really cool I don't want it to be any of that I want it to be something so fucking nuts that we're just like how why do you who would accidentally send you this like who oh so you're assuming why? it's an accident I want it to be uh, cause like 
Okay, 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 she's updated. It's a video. She's lifting up the foam. Oh! Oh, that's really cool. It's a Greg Hildebrandt poster of Captain America. Ooh. It is gorgeous. Mm. Yes, I'm sharing a link to the tweet. Everybody calm down. Because <laughs> that... I thought I would have... It would have been better if it was a fucking rando thing, though. Like, I would have loved it. It's yeah. a gorgeous post, though. It, it's beautiful. It's borderline, um... The guy who did the art for Kingdom Come, whose name I can never remember. Mm -hmm. And if you say the name, I'll be like, Oh, yeah, 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 that guy! I can never remember who it was, that. though. Ooh... It's very blue. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it's just Abu blue, with white, and black. Die. It's blue. Dabu dee, dabu die. Dabu dee, dabu die. So I remember my uncle wouldn't let my cousins listen to that song. Really? Because he couldn't understand the lyrics of the chorus. It's just dabu dee, dabu die. It's it's just gibberish noises. Yeah, but he heard. I'm blue, I'm in need of a guy. No. And like, now whenever I hear it, I'm just like, I'm blue, I'm in need of a guy, and I'm in need of a guy. Because like, it's clearly Dabu D Dabu Die, but you can hear it. Like, you can kind of like see where he got it from. Mm, yes. <laughs> and like, the Gengrumps did that parody of it, but. I went and listened back, and, like, the parody wasn't much of a parody. It was pretty spot on. Like, the song literally just does go, just does say, Alex Ross, yes. That guy. Alex Ross, I knew that. Mm. <clears throat> God. But Kingdom Come is, like, some of the most gorgeous comic <laughs> art. I'm loving this Gino introduction. Yeah. I'm a little My late, but it's hard to pronounce. <laughs> I'll just translate My it for you. So, just call me Gino. Heart note. Uh, heart note and Terabang. Mm. That's what that's called, by the way. Yeah. Uh, exclamation point with a question mark. It's called an Interobang. And it's, what, it's to denote, what is it, sarcasm? No, it's just to denote uh, shock while asking a question. Oh, okay. But it's, yeah, it's called an interrobang. Like, you did what? Would be finished with an interrobang when written out. Alright, I've got two of the seven stars. Oh. You're one third of the way through. Hell yeah. I mean, that's pretty solid, considering I'm gonna do five sessions of this length. I mean, maybe. I might not even need that much. I mean... It gets harder. Mm, I mean, yeah, that is the first Especially, series. like, there's parts where the platforming is so fucking infuriating. Ooh. Like, there's a part later where you're actually timed on it. And you can try and go for the fast record, but it's not worth it unless you just spend a lot of time practicing it. Yeah. Like, even I, as many times as I've played this, which, not as often as Shenmue, but pretty close. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go to Rose Town and see all the people you helped. Yeah, I'm just gonna save up stuff and uh, call it a night a little earlier than planned, but that works for me. It's a you good can talk stopping to the point. Kid and his mom. Uh, nothing else to really do here. No, you go to the hotel, talk to the kid and his mom, and move on. Um. But yeah, I'm just looking. I'm just looking at stuff. There's nothing to really look I'm at. Shopping. <laughs> I I don't know what the context for this was, but I gave my mom a hard time once when I was in middle school. She was the uh, she drove me to school because she worked at the same school I went to, and she would go shopping on her lunch break with uh, uh her coworker, 
And I was giving her a hard time for it, like, implying that she was going on shopping sprees for herself when I knew good and well we couldn't afford that, like, at all. Um, like, we were living in a trailer with holes in the floor that we had to avoid standing on while cooking. Um, I knew she was not wasting money. But she was like, I'm just going shop." She was going to, like, Food Lion. She would go to Food Lion during her lunch break to pick up stuff for dinner. And I'd be like, sure, Mom. You're going to Food Lion and just going shopping. And she has fucking laughed about that for the last 23 years. Like, sure, Mom. Shopping. Whenever she'd go to the store, she'd be like, I'm going shopping. <laughs> she'd fucking lose it laughing. I'm like, Mom. Damn, it wasn't that funny. Uh, my mom will like hold. Like, if I crack my mom up hard enough, she will hold on to that joke for decades. So another one was we went to New York, and we are very southern. Like, I am the least southern of my family, but we are extremely southern. And so I don't know what got me to say this, but I'm in the back seat of our van laid out across all the seats because it's just me and my sister we each got our own row of the van which was a fucking blessing at the time but we went to new york and by we went to new york i mean my dad drove into new york turned around and drove right back out and <laughs> headed back south that and it was like the middle of the night so we're just going through new york like there's times square <laughs> there's Broadway. like literally we were just cutting across all the main like we saw the Statue of Liberty from behind in New Jersey. Well, that's, that's one you can funny. you can do that one for free because if you go on the Staten Island Ferry, which is a free ferry, uh, it just no, goes no. right by it. Uh, it was too late at night, and we mm. would have had to stop. So we just like drove past it in New Jersey. Um, so we get to the point where we're about to cross the Mason Dixon. And from the back seat, I just go, get out your cameras, kids. We're going to see some Yankees. <laughs> and my mom has been laughing about that for, like, I was 16, so. <laughs> it's really good. Holy shit. <laughs> she just fucking lost it. <laughs> Look at them there. Okay. They got whole shoes on their feet. They don't got to switch between okay, them. You. Here's a true story. If you wonder how Southern my family is. Mm -hmm. My dad grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina. At one point, my grandfather, first of all, extremely racist. Mm. Uh, when they started integrating schools, he was like, fuck that. We're moving back to my hometown in Virginia, up in the mountains. And when I say small, Southern, conservative hometown... I mean it, okay? Uh, so he gets to up there, drops my dad and his brother off at the school to register, because apparently just kids did that at the time. Wow. And they go in, they're like, we're here to sign up for school, and the lady behind the counter says, all right, what's your names? Doug and Steve. And he's like, no, really, what's your names? It's like, Doug and Steve Binge. Like, no, really, what are your names? He's like... Doug and Steve Binge. And I'm like, look, I know all the binges in this county, and y'all ain't binges. <laughs> and she, my dad's like, how the hell do you know we ain't binges? And he's like, and the lady behind the counter goes, y'all ain't binges because y'all got shoes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and that was how my dad suddenly realized. Holy shit! I'm ha I am full on hick yeah. because his mom was from the same town. That's where they grew up and met. Holy I, oh shit! <laughs> y'all got to tell the story shoes. Because y'all got shoes. <laughs> oh man, uh, that's so a good. That that'd be a good spot to leave it off here for the night. Oh no! Oh, I've got a better one. Okay, one last one. What do you got? It's how my grandparents met. Mm -hmm. My grandfather is named uh, Meredith, but a classmate of his from high school, for some reason, just called him Murdoch. 
Hmm. And keep in mind, this was before any TV shows would have used that name. This sure. was a long time ago. He has no idea where his friend got the name from. Uh, most people just called him Sonny, you know, because hmm. that was his uh, nickname growing up. But just called him Murdoch. And so I asked him, is your name Sonny, Meredith, or Murdoch? And he's like, well, it's Mer Meredith, but let me tell you how I got the name Murdoch. And so he and that friend are like the friend poisoned all their high school friends with that name. Mm -hmm. And so they didn't go to high school together, my grandparents. They went to different schools in the same town. So it was at least that big, but uh, they go to a diner, like, because it was the fucking, like, 50s. And she, somebody goes running in and says, Dale and Murdoch are here. And everybody goes running out. And my grandmother's sitting at a table with some friends that, you know, she gets up and goes running out. And her friends are like, where the hell are you going? She says, I want to go see what the hell a Murdoch is. <laughs> and then uh, she comes out and he's, you know, infatuated with her immediately. And they start chit-chatting and they go to leave. And she goes back inside and he's poking around in his buddy's uh, glove box. And he finds a, a fucking necklace that says Evel on it. And he looks at, and this was a necklace that a lot of, it was a dime store thing. Like a lot of girls would get a mm. necklace with their name engraved on it. And then they'd give it to a guy they fancied. And so he looked at his friend and was like, what the hell is an evil? And he said, that's that dark haired girl you was checking out back at the diner. And he's like, you know her? And he was like, yeah, I was driving her and her friend around. I was, because the, his friend was sweet on her friend. And so they were driving around, and she left the necklace in his car by accident. And it's like, I meant to give it to her. I forgot about it. He's like, turn the damn car around. So they went back. And that's how my grandparents hooked up. <laughs> it's because they both had ridiculous fucking names. I mean, that's really... In this world of ours, do you really need anything more than that? That's enough for me. You just go... You, you do... It, all it takes sometimes... Hey, I also didn't get pickles on my burger... You want to get married, have a life, why not? That's life. All right. Is that how you and your partner met? Mm -hmm. Pickles on a burger? Uh, no, not quite. Like, Coco would never get a burger without pickles. Coco, like, Coco's propensity for pickle on burger is nuts. Like, an inch thick of just pickle slices is about the Coco's minimum. Pickle Coco's pickle preference is propensitally, uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was t tense over here just like, is he going to be able to come up with something? I had it and then I lost it halfway through. All right, well, oh, well, before you can fail again, let's call it a night. Thank you everybody for watching, whether you're watching now, in the past, or in the future with the past broadcast tab or the Twitch archive, which you can find linked with my personal YouTube and my Twitter. Twitter, I always go the wrong direction. My Twitter, which uh, is where I tweet out when I go live, those are all linked below the stream on the browser version, and uh, you can also find the schedule there as well as on the main channel page. And uh, yeah, if you haven't followed, please consider it because it would help out the channel a lot. Once we get to those 50 followers, ooh, that's when the real fun begins. Anything? Any last words, Andrew? Y'all ain't binges because y'all got shoes. <laughs> ain't that the truth. Good night, everybody.